and girls good evening welcome to the first am stream of 2022 welcome to the sci-fi show this friday evening how are we all doing welcome everybody i hope you like the trailer the Zypho's nightmare a new amster game coming in 2022 very very soon from the very wonderful and awesome yellow belly and um i also did the chip tune music you heard there so i i've even contributed to it myself but enough about Zypho's Nightmare, because tonight we're here to celebrate the arrival of a new Moritz game! Moritz on the Autobahn. From Team Moritz, who are here in the chat tonight as well. <laughs> There's several people. So all the uh, Team Moritz guys, come and say hello. Say hello, hello, I'm T type, uh, hello, I am Team Moritz, so everyone knows who you are. Um... But yeah, the uh, Zypho's Nightmare will be coming exclusively to Antstream Arcade. We're hoping in a few weeks' time. And um, Yellow Belly will be able to talk more about it another time as well. We've got plenty of people here in the chat who have helped out on that as well. Um, but welcome everybody. Um, first of all, I hope you all had a lovely uh, Christmas. And a Happy New Year to you all as well. Let's hope 2022... <laughs> It's going to be much better than 2021. We said that last year, but hopefully this year will be better. Just a little heads up as well. Unfortunately, um, earlier this week, I caught coronavirus. So um, apologies if um, I'm a bit bunged up and have to blow my nose and I cough and sneeze and stuff. But hey, I feel okay to do the AM stream tonight. And obviously, I didn't want to miss out. We wanted to start the new year and the first AM stream with a bang. So we've got an exclusive tonight. We've got the first look at the new Moritz game. Um, Moritz on the Autobahn. Um, this is the first time anyone outside of the Team Moritz is seeing this tonight. And um, after we've had a little play for a bit, we're going to release the disc file of um, Moritz on the Autobahn for everyone to play for themselves as well. We'll put it in the. We'll probably put it in our Discord, um, unless Bruno Kukulkan can uh, release it on CPC Power website in about an hour or something like that. I don't know if Bruno can do that or not. But if you want to join our Discord, there's a Discord link. It should pop up in the chat any second. And we'll put the file in our Discord. There it is. There's a Discord link. So there you go. Right. We've got a lot of people to say hello to, but we, we want to get to um, uh, Moritz as soon as we can. Because uh, I know some of the Team Moritz guys, uh, it's quite late for them where they are. It's like 11 o'clock probably or 10 o'clock or something like that. So, um, oh, hold on. I hope your 2022 has started off well. Oh, or at least not completely crap. And those of you with the COVID, get well soon. <laughs> Carnivious. Hang on, I will replay that for you because it, it skipped the um, start of that. Hang on a second. One, 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 one. Will it replay? No. Yes. Carnivious. Scott. He's a very talented pixel artist on the Amstrad scene himself. And I'd love to see some of your work in action at some point. Thank you for the five pound dono there. Thank you. Have some dancing Lord Sugars there. Just as... popping in to say Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> I hope your 2022 has started off well. Or at least not completely crap. And those of you with the COVID, get well soon. Smile. Thank you. Bananas in the chat, please, for Canibius there. Thank you, Scott. I really appreciate that, mate. Happy New Year to you, dude. And uh, I hope you're having a good one, mate. Thank you for the nice message there. That's lovely. Uh, thank you, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, so, um, cheers, Scott. Happy New Year, mate. 
Right, we're going to set a countdown timer before we get to the Moritz game. We're going to start the timer at 10 minutes. There it is, counting down. Actually, we'll move the Amstream logo across. That got shifted a while back. There you go. There we go. Uh, so 10 minutes just to say hello quickly to everyone. I'll have to do this really, really, really quickly tonight. Okay, guys. So apologies if I miss anyone or skip over anything. Um, in fact, I missed the top of the chat now. It's about nine minutes, seven minutes past nine. Okay, as far as I can scroll back. So I'll start from there. But, uh, first thing I can see tonight is Andrea. Good evening, Andrea. Happy New Year, Andrea. Hey, Han. Good to see you as well. Hey, Han. Oh! Oh, God. Jogstrad 464. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Very, 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 very much. <laughs> it says, Happy New Year, everyone. Looking forward to another brilliant year of Amstrad, uh, Amstream action. Brilliant year review and looking forward to next year's already. Oh, thank you, Jockstrad. That's really, really cool of you. Thank you. Bananas in the chat for Jockstrad there. That's a really lovely thing to say, mate. And I think I saw an earlier message as the stream was sort of starting up. And they nearly made, nearly made me tear up, dude. Thank you, Chris. Much love to you and your family, mate. And a happy new year. Uh, thank you, guys, as well, for the bananas. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, cheers, Josh. Oh, I'm getting a bit tripped over myself there. Right, let's do the greetings very, very quickly. Who else we got? We've got Hey Hon Puds. Welcome, Hey Hon. The lovely Brian Hooper. Welcome, Brian. Beardo, my original mod. How you doing, Beardo? Ahoy, Johnny Boy and Shalom. Welcome, Johnny Boy. We've got the Vimster here tonight. Welcome, Vimster. Darren Carl, Happy New Year, mate. I like, I like your New Year's resolutions there, man. Thank you. We've got Mrs. Zypho, aka the Kate White in the chat there. She, did you notice her in the... Um, Zypho's Nightmare trailer there. I hope you like that. We can replay that later on for anyone that missed it. Paul Henderson, Fenrir, welcome, dude. Welcome. We've got the legend that is Pete Walker. Pete, I... Oh. I need to speak to you because you do something very, very generous. I need to think about how we um, celebrate that, Pete. I'll talk to you in DMs again, Pete. Pete Walker did something extraordinarily generous at Christmas for me. And... Uh, Pete, thank you very, 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 very much, mate. I don't know what to say about that still. Um, I'm blown away. Thank you, Pete. We're going to do something for, we're going to do something for Pete Walker. I'll have a think, Pete. I'll have a think. We had so much to set up for tonight, though. Um, Retro Unlim. Welcome, Retro Unlim. Sorry you caught the dreaded Rona as well, mate. I hope you're coping okay, dude. Uh, keep having those paracetamols. Um, and I hope you get well soon, dude. Tactical Pirate Daz. Arr, welcome, uh, welcome, Daz. Uh, we've got a um, scrolling through. AD Sneaker Freak, welcome AD. We've also got a Nivrig. I'll tell you what, actually. While um, I've got another little surprise for you guys, actually. If I just pause my music here just very, very quickly and we'll turn off the thumbnail. Um, Jonah, who was one of the, the musicians behind this game, sent me a very special disc file um, before, we, uh, before the stream started up. Um, let me just find it very quickly. I know the music stopped now. He has sent me this. It says play it during uh, before the game starts. So instead of um, Morris on the autobahn, it's no time to drive. Oh, hang on. Oh, I'll start that up again. Arnold, thank you for the two euros through the super chat. Have some dancing sugars and some bananas. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you very, very, very much. I will start that again. Sorry. So this is a tree. I don't even know if Sebastian knew about this one. So this is some music that he made for the game that wasn't used. A James Bond version of the Moritz theme, <laughs> I believe. <laughs> All right, where was I in the chat? The greetings there. Nivrig! Welcome, Nivrig! Uh, we also have a Chiefy. Hello, Chiefy89. Welcome, Chiefy. And Pedro Pimenta, welcome Pedro. Are you on Team Moritz? I have to try and remember all, I forget all the names. I know Bruno Kukulkan is. Welcome Bruno from the CPC Power website. My source of anything I need for the AM streams and videos and stuff. So thank you Bruno for all you do on the CPC Power website. It is an amazing resource. Thank you Bruno. Um, where am I? Oxo, good. Welcome, Oxo. How you doing, my friend? Welcome. 
Uh, we have Nation CPC Game Reviews dot com as well. Another member of the important member of the Amstrad community, Amstrad community, the whole. Welcome, Nish. Amasai, welcome, my friend, as well. Good evening. We have Sebastian Moritz, the underdog, the main man himself here tonight. Welcome, Sebastian. Did you know about this? <laughs> So the musician for Moritz on the Osborne made this and has given me especially for tonight. Maud! Good evening, Maud! Welcome, Maud! Lord Rain and uh, Claude Rain, that is Armstrong. Welcome, Darren. How you doing, man? Vitrino Fire, happy new year to you too, mate. Welcome. I wish I had this music for the Bond stream we did last year. Damn. Um, Novabug's in the chat. Welcome, Novabug. How you doing, man? Welcome. Happy new year to you and your family, mate. Um, Scrolling through. If I miss anyone, do let me know. And Shovel, Man Shovel, welcome, Man Shovel. How you doing, sir? Uh, we've got 80s retro game here, here as well. Welcome, welcome, sir. Welcome. And we've got Gil Afraid. Gil Afraid has been doing some heavy testing on Zyphos Nightmare. Welcome, uh, Gil Afraid, aka Beardo's better half. <laughs> my Lab, good evening, My Lab. It's Neil Love, isn't it? Welcome, Neil. How you doing, my friend? Happy New Year, my friend. Mirko! Good evening, Mirko, as well. Uh, we have a yellow belly in the chat as well. Greetings, sir, yellow belly. Um, scrolling down. And I think I'm nearly done with the greetings. Let me see. If I miss anyone, do let me know. Robin Hook, the retro games with. Hello, Robin. How you doing, my friend? Uh, where was I? Shoot. Um... I've lost where I was in the chat, but never mind. I will carry on, regardless. And again, if I miss anyone, apologies. Okay. Scrolling through. There's so many people here tonight. It's awesome. Right, thanks for watching. We'll get the game up very, very shortly. Andy hates. Good evening, Andy. And Warzord, the board time lord. Good evening, my friend. Hey, Matt Lee. Welcome, Matt Lee. It's nice to see you back here as well. Welcome. Uh, vaccinated boosted Kobe bed. Oh, I do got the Jay Broner as well, Matt. I'm glad to hear he got boosted though. Hopefully it won't be too bad for you. Oh, Carnivius, good night, my friend. You just pop in and say hi and donate. I'll catch up with the stream later, non live. Have a good night all. Oh, no, good night, Carnivius. Thank you again, my friends. Thank you. And happy new year to you, dude. Don Pacacero as well. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Um, thank you again, Arnold. Uh, Steve Johnson. Hey, welcome. Says first time viewer, long time Amstrad player, hype for this. Can everyone tag Mr. Steve Johnson and give him a big Amstream hello and welcome. Welcome, Steve. Thank you for joining in the chat for the first time. Happy New Year, mate. And let us know your console computer gaming history. Did you start off with the Amstrad? Or, um, what was your first machine? Welcome, welcome. Shining TGS, welcome to the stream as well, there. Welcome, welcome. Um,. Uh, again, if it's your first time here, welcome, my friend, as well. Um, right. Uh, oh, I'm nearly done the greetings. Okay. Hey, Crumbles. Welcome to the stream. Oh, it's just Dave. You've had a name change. Crumbles. Welcome again, my friend. And welcome back, Neil Love, as well. I'm doing okay. Apart from having the, ro the rotor virus uh, right now. I'm doing okay. A bit hot and going cold a lot, but it's all good. Right, I think we're done with the greetings. We'll do that. Uh, hang on, why is that still going? We'll turn that off. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. So, we did a very, very quick greeting. So, normally I take a little bit longer and have a chat with you. So, if I miss any important messages, please feel free to replace them. Uh, uh, sorry, copy, copy and paste them again. But it's time, ladies and gentlemen, let's get Moritz on the Autobahn up because I know the Team Moritz team are all here and it's quite late for some of them. Oh, yeah, we have to do a, it's a cat art there. I think, Bruno, you did the cat art for this, didn't you? Uh, nice, Nicely done there. Here we go, guys. The first new Amstrad game of 2022. Moritz on the Autobahn. Let's go. Darren Connor, good evening as well. Greetings, Team Moritz. Nice. 
Nice. Shall we go? Let's go with the uh, intro and story. Look at this menu system. I like this. Steve Johnson says, I went for the Vic 20 to the Amstrad 6128, got hot to the colony and never left. Oh, that's a fantastic game. It's like, yeah, it's like a top down view. And I remember you're building fences and harvesting crops or something, and you control a robot. Um, I didn't play much of it because it confused the hell out of me, but I know the one. Thank you, Steve. Big 28. Right. Let's go for the intro story first. Bruno did so much more. What did Bruno do on the game, Morit? So Morit's the underdog there, is fast in the coda. Right, Moritz on the Autobahn. Poor Moritz, having already had a long spell in hospital and thereafter, embarked on several adventures, including a lengthy trip to the moon. He was now determined to escape the stresses of life and take it easy. One day at home, removing yet more alien-like ticks from his fur, oh, poor Moritz, picked up from his successful adventures to the moon, he never could figure out how they penetrated his space suit. Uh, the letterbox rattle. M Morris stood up, spent a few seconds scratching furiously, then sorted over to the front door and picked up an envelope off the floor. Noticing the Portuguese stamp on the front got him wondering why his cousin would be writing when he only messaged him the other day on Skype on Dognet. <laughs> Moritz walked back into the uh, living room, stopped for a second, and scratched again, resulting in a couple of ticks flying off into oblivion. They'll be back, he thought, finding another uh, pesky place on my fur. He sat down and, and opened the envelope, and sure enough, it's from his cousin with an invitation to stay over for as long as he wants. Sun, sea, wine, and fun. Perfect, and just what the doctor ordered. There's just one problem. Moritz has got to get there first by travelling through Europe. Moritz took no time in the shed fixing up his C5 and giving it a good polish in preparation for his journey. Starting from Germany on the Autobahn, through Belgium, France, England, Ireland, Spain, and eventually to Portugal. That's a long way round. In every country, Moritz will have to collect um, the hearts and gold in Ireland. If only the venture was an easy one. But alas, the road is full of Sunday drivers and strange objects like Bavarian beer pints, Belgian, Belgian waffles, French baguettes, croissants, British guards, Irish leprechauns, <laughs> Spanish bulls, Portuguese souring, and, well, all sorts of unimaginable out to stop Moritz reaching his... Uh, Dream destination. Hug his cousin and enjoy paradise to the full. Morris in the autobahn. There we go. Finally got through the intro there. Oh, that, fantastic. This part is by Megature, according to Bruno. Oh, cool. I love the giant splash screen that is scrolling up and down. That's a pretty... Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Neil! My love there, thank you. I'll do one pound through the super chat there. <laughs> thank you, Neil, aka My Lab. Thank you very, very, very much for one pound there. Happy New Year, Neil. That's very kind of you, dude. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Bananas in the chat for Neil there. Um. Yes, very cool scrolling screen. Very smoothly done as well. Oh, is this a Kraftwerk song? Is it really? Oh, cool. Did um, uh, Jonah do this music? One second, guys. I just need to blow my nose. I'll do it off camera. Sorry about that. Hey Lucas! Good evening Lucas, how you doing? And is Jolly here as well? A happy new year to you both. Welcome Jolly. Right, let's 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 spin on. Das hom Das Ham's honk there, sorry. Nice intro there. Awesome. Now if you remember guys last year 
last year we played Moritz the Striker. Uh, what was it? March last year? And uh, it was a new game, obviously. But I think, Sebastian, is it fair to say that at the time you thought it might be the last game you were going to be doing? But, like, um, I remember I was having long chats, and I think it, you had such a you had really, really nice time with us last year when we did Moritz the Striker. Um, I think it kind of gave you the spark to, like, do another Moritz game. Is that fair to say? And if so, well done, Amstream community. For like making um, Moritz so welcome last year that we, you know, it's got a whole team involved again and made a new game. So well done, Amstream community, for being so welcoming and supportive. Let's have a very quick look at the jukebox, and then we'll get the main game up just quickly. You're all right. Tell us more, Sebastian. Tell us more. Oh, look at this! <laughs> it is craftwork. Uh, so we got. I press one there for autobahn. I love that. Hey, it's Walden here. Uh, I miss Walden. Where's Walden? Uh, some reason I can't see Walden in the chat. Oh, there you are, Walden. Good evening, Walden. How you doing, my friend? So let's try number two. Music non stop. I don't know if uh, Jonah's in the chat at the moment. Let's try Computer Love. Oh, you heard that on the. Yeah. The whole game is Kraftwerk inspired. <laughs> I love that picture though. Alright, number four Pocket Calculator. Uh oh, we've got some drop frames and virgins being crap. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, don't worry, I think we'll keep the kids off the computers in a little bit anyway. That might help things. Alright, okay. So if you had any stuttering there, it should be okay now. Refresh if need be. Escape back to the back menu. Okay, yeah, let, let's get into let's get into the game. Jim and Frash Metal is kick. I do like a bit of Jim and Frash, the Frash Metals. Nice to see you back in, Neil. Yeah, um, I hope you have a nice time here tonight, mate. And you're very, very welcome back, as always, my love. You're not a Kraftwerk fan, like. I really don't know much Kraftwerk. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I appreciate them, and I like what I hear. So that's what's important, I guess. And you're coming next week as well, Neil. Awesome, awesome. You're welcome back anytime you want, Neil. Anytime. Right. The game is loading up. <laughs> the, the presentation is absolutely fantastic so far. I love what you guys have done with this so far. Um, nice, nice here. Okay. Let. Want to hear this a little bit longer? We'll, have, we'll, we'll give it 30 seconds. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone has had a lovely Christmas and a happy New Year's. If you've got any like interesting tales and stories to tell tell me and everyone in the chat from over New Year's and stuff like that, feel free, please feel free to put them in the chat. And tell us what you've been up to and stuff. Uh, Man Machine is a deadly album. Is, this a, is that a Kraftwerk album, Brian? So I'll try and check it out. Lucas asks if, if this is 128k. I believe it's 128k only, this one. <laughs> Due to the number of loads and stuff like that. And things we've had to fit in. Hey, Jimmy Taylor. Hello, Jimmy. And hello, Jamie. She's there with you too. Happy New Year to you too, my friend. Fun, fun, fun of the Amstream. Indeed. All right, uh, let's go. Joystick, just in case. Moritz on the autobahn. Oh, look at this. It's a map. It's kind of... Um, oh, he's going to track his progress to the levels. Reminds me of Pang meets, like, um, like the Indiana Jones like sec map sections in the film. 
That's awesome. I like the music. Liking the music. Hey, um, Dasadair, welcome back to the Amstream. It's been a long time. I recognise the name. Welcome all the way from glorious Sweden. Happy New Year, Dasadair. Welcome, welcome. Nice to have liking lots of new people and old faces popping back in tonight for the first Amstream 2022. Right, let's go. And there's Moritz in his little C5. I like the touch of having the C5. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. You have to click the heart. And if you look at the bottom, guys, where it says, where it says level one, there's a meter bar that fills up the more hearts you get. Do you see that? Whee. And the traffic light turns from red to amber as you get closer. And then green means you can move on to the next level. Oh, that's really nice touch. Hey, OJBs, welcome, dude. Welcome. He sold 40 joysticks. Excellent. So, uh, fantastic, OJBs. I'm really happy for you. Uh, Bru uh, Sebastian says, I asked Bruno to make an Indiana Jones flight map, and he did. Oh, well done, Bruno. That's fantastic stuff. I like nice touch that. And Mame Hayes. Good evening, Mame Hayes. How you doing, my friend? The first level there is just an introduction. And as you can see, it's a single screen platformer in a style of like Bugs Quest and the forthcoming Zypho's Nightmare. It's really nicely done. So, um, Sebastian, tell us in the chat who did all like the graphics and the sprites. I think I know. There we go, that's all the. We've got a green light. And it plays really nicely and smoothly and fluidly. Sprites move about. Look like it's about 50 frames per second or something like that. It looks good. Trolls are tight and responsive. So great job, Sebastian, so far. Uh, Moritz says, uh, Jonah, or oh, Sebastian. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, sorry. Jonah and Bruno managed to make a game with music and sound effects. First time in a MP uh, AGD game. Oh, yes, because you're using the multiple platform arcade game designer. I think that's the same thing Yellow Banner uses for like Bugs Quest and stuff and Zypho's Nightmare. Um, so I take it it doesn't support um, sound effects with music, but you found a way outside of that to add the sound effects in. If so, that's fantastic. And that's between Jonah and Bruno working it out. So Jonah was on the music, but he's a very knowledgeable guy. Um, he's helped me out a lot as well with my music. And of course, Bruno, is, you know, he's, he's a legend. Um, oh, it was Brian O'Higgins. Uh, he did a, master, a masterpiece of the sprites and blocks. I think Brian is in the chat right now. Um, I knew it was Brian. Now, Brian has been, like, a member of the Amstream community for a long time. We didn't know he had these hidden talents of making graphics and sprites. He did such a good job in Bugs Quest uh, for Yellow Belly. I see that like, you tapped Brian up. And wisely so. So everyone give um, it's Brian. Where is Brian? Everyone tag uh, uh, Brian O'Higgins and let's give him. Uh, I'll, let's, where's the cat? Where's the clap emote? There you go. You can just copy and paste what I did there. Well done, Brian. Fantastic work on the sprites and graphics. Um, guys, I just need to blow my nose a second. Actually, I'll mute the microphone this time. Bear with, bear with me like one sec. Sorry about that. There he is, Brian in the chat there. The legend as Yellow Belly calls him. He says, thank you, thank you, my pleasure. I hope to see more from you as well, Brian. I can't wait to see what you've done in Zypho's Nightmare as well. Okay. 
Now, I had a little practice. This, this is where the level starts to get quite a bit harder. And I often died on this level a few times. Oh, no. I might have actually got myself... Ooh! Look at that. What the fuck? How did I survive that? Oh, there were some keys I had to get there. Oh, there's one sodding heart left there. So some keys, I uh, picked up some keys and that opened the gate where the, um... No! Oh! Oh, yeah, there's a, he opened up like a door there in front of the traffic light. And some blocks disappear like that after, after you sit in them for a while, so that's really cool. It's like a great little game. It is. It's a nice little game. It's, obviously, yeah, we've seen plenty of um, single screen platformers on the Amstrad, but it's always so nice to have another one that is so um, well presented and well done. I'm just trying to play it cautious here. Oh, <laughs> damn. I I'm an idiot. Alright, I've lost a few lives now. Okay. Oh, God, that was risky. That one little one left there. Top, top tip there from Pete Walker. Thank you, Pete. What would I do? Oh, no! I hit the fire button accidentally. Oh, God. This level's already kicking my ass. I've lost a few lives already. How many lives have I got? Oh, bottom right, next to Moritz's head, it says six. So I've got six lives left. Out of interest. Can I... Oh, my God. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Can I gain any bonus lives in the game? But I nearly got wrecked there. So oh, I should have jumped. Oh, I've lost another life. Looks dope. It's good fun. This. Uh, well, so it's just learning how to fix your USB uh, to Amstrad joystick issue. Oh, thank you, um, uh, OJBs. Where do I, where, where do I see that? Discord, I assume. Uh, if so, which channel? It's that one heart left to get there. This is where I always get to and then die on this level. Oh no! Now the guy with the drill is after me. Oh! Come on! Actually, I don't like that. Okay, now we need to get up there. It's your tech chat. Uh, oh, uh, tech help. Okay, mate, I'll have a look in a bit. We're not using joystick on this game. We're using keyboard. Let me just catch up the chat there. Let's have a look then. Um, you liking the music, Dasa Day? Awesome. Uh, and Brian says, thanks for the kind words, everybody. Be sure to thank the, the rest of the team, Morix. Uh, they did the real work. So, 
Um, Sebastian, Mo uh, or Moritz, the underdog in the chat there, can you tell everyone, like, the credits and the people behind the game and what they did exactly? Give us the full story if you want to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still getting over the coronavirus here. Um... Uh, Mansion was definitely not looking, uh, expecting a platform. This is a pleasant surprise. Great looking the sounding game. It is. Good stuff, Manchel. Zombie Peaks. Good evening, Zombie Peaks. And Happy New Year to you, mate. Welcome. Good to see you as always. And he says, nice game. Like an old, like, I'll be the same Monty version for the Amstrad. Love it. It's just that there. Awesome. Awesome. And Andrea, thank you. Yes, if you haven't already, guys, can you give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream if you're enjoying what you're watching? It all helps get the um, stream advertised and pushed to new people and more people get no notice it and come in. Um, that's how the Google algorithms work. Cool, we're up to 37 likes already. That's fantastic. Thank you, guys. 38, brilliant. Thanks for the thumbs ups, guys. Uh, Main says, the only criticism I have is that the things you're picking up don't stand out. Colors too close. Hang on. Oh! Hey! Ultimate Kitten! Wow, the magical 464. Thank you. Thank you, Ultimate Kitten. A tiny meow. Amps crew always roars. A tiny meow, the Amps crew always roars. Uh, Ultimate Kitten, I give you a little scratch and tickle under your chin. The stroke of your b body and the tail there. And, uh, and some cat treats. Thank you, Ultimate Kitten. I see some bananas in the chat there for Ultimate Kitten. Thank you guys, thank you, and uh, thank you, Ultimate Kitten. Happy New Year, I hope you had a lovely Christmas as well, Ultimate Kitten. That's really, really kind of you. Um, and thank you guys for all the uh, bananas in the chat there. I shall post them as well. Exclamation mark bananas. Um, oh, Morris is going to tell us a bit more about the, the team behind the game. Um... Uh, see, the main major said the colours are too close to the platforms and their enemies. Yeah, I think there's only so much they can do with the, to balance getting a really nice colourful screen and obviously um, making the objects stand out. It's a tough one to get the balance right. I think they've done it just about I could. Yeah, just about right, yeah. But it's a fair, a fair point. Uh, I can't drink. I haven't had a pint since the end of October. How can we not drink in Neutrino? Exactly, Yellow Bunny. I agree with those words. Got to say, the, Yellow Bunny says, got to say the community really has pulled together over the last few years to get new CPC games out. I know, and there seems to be a lot more collaboration going on and people sharing like tips and tricks and things and going, oh, I can help you with that thing you're stuck on and stuff. It's amazing to see. Like Yellow Bunny's game had loads of people helping him out on. Um, when I was doing the music for the new Yellow Belly game, uh, Jonah Chip was like an incredible help to me, and I'm um, absolutely in debt to him. I've learned so much. And it's nice to see so many people pulling together to work on these games. Uh, uh, Manan, U Manan UK, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Amber Stream, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Uh, but it says Jonah and Bruno put all the stuff together and added all the fancy stuff. The menu, the map, the sound effects, animated, congratulations, and game over screen. Oh, there's an ending. I hope I can get to the ending. Ooh, ooh. Hey, the buff one. How are you doing, the buff one? Welcome, my friends, and happy new year to you. Um, and oh, Mor Moritz also says, where was it? Uh, Pedro did all the music, but Jenna converted it to Arcos Tracker. Fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on. Lewis Waddo! The Waddo! Oh my goodness, five pounds there! <laughs> He's got a message. Zai's milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Evening, you 8 bit loving beauties. I've got that Friday Amstream feeling. Spread the 464 6128 compatible love. <laughs> Thank you, Lewis. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you, Lou. Happy New Year to you too, mate. Welcome to the first Amstream of 2022. Good to have you here, my friend, as always. Lewis up in the arcade club, you lucky git. 
Uh, what was it? Sorry, Pedro did, Pedro did all the music, but Jonah put it to Argos. So did he compose the music on a keyboard and go, here's my composition, recorded it via MIDI or something like that, then sent it to Jonah to translate into the tracker? Is that, is that, is that how it worked? Um, and the Ultimate Kitten, thank you again as well. I hope you've been keeping well. And Juan Donda, welcome to the Amstream. Uh, good evening to you. Welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Is this your first time here on the Am stream? So let us know. Steve Johnson as well. Welcome, my friend. What was Steve? Uh, you're new here as well. What was your favourite Amstrad game uh, growing up on your 6128? Apart from Colony. But I'm interested to know. Uh, oh, and Moritz says, uh, the game evolved. Jonah had great ideas to make the game better. And he's an excellent playtester, so he spotted every error. Jonah, what an absolute legend Jonah is. I really, I love the graphics on this level. Look at that. That's really lovely done. How you doing, Lewis? Lovely to see you. Simmy as well. Good evening, Simmy. Sorry if I missed you there earlier, matey. It's been very busy in the chat tonight. How you doing, Simmy? <coughs> now, uh, Sebastian, um, Moritz, can you tell the chat a little bit more about what's happening with a physical release of this game? So Sebastian and Moritz, tell everyone what's happening with the physical release of the game. Because we're going to release the um, disc file of this game shortly to everyone. Where you can play in an emulator of your choice. But there will be a physical edition and release of the game. Now, I have to say as well. Sebastian's physical releases of his games are fantastic. Let me just show you something from my shelf here. Bear with me one sec. So, so what I have here is a bunch of Moritz stuff. This is just for one game. I think this is the, hopefully this is a car. First of all, I know the green screen's gonna kill this. Actually, if I just switch over to maybe browser view, hang on. Oh crap, got the wrong browser anyway, but it doesn't matter. Uh, That, that's just a CPC power site with the Moritz games there. There we go. I've just got a bigger camera view here. Uh, the green screen is taking out the green on this, but he made these tins for his last game, Moritz the, uh, Moritz the Striker, and actually made a physical release cartridge that will plug in a GX4000 and CPC Plus machines. And I've got a lovely, um, uh, there's a lovely badge inside the tin as well. That was really, really nice. Um, so I'm very sure I got hold of that from uh, Sebastian. He also did another tinned release site of it with the game on cassette. There you go. Look at that. Now I'm not sure if he's got any. He's going to do tins again this this time around. That, that's quite a bit. Is a bit of a bit ask. Big ask. There was also a normal release on tape in the normal sort of dual case there. And the green screen is killing the green that's on here. Sorry about this, guys. Some lovely artwork on that. I think this is still available from the Syntec website. And you can buy Moritz on disc there as well as well as tape. I think as well as tape. And also, he filled it, he filled it with some goodies. You get a yellow... Oh, oh, no, the green screen is killing this. This is, a, this is bright yellow, it should be. Um, this is a yellow card. Um, there was also a referee's whistle, which unfortunately my three-year-old stole, and I've lost it now. And Marcus Striker lent a few other cars there with instructions on the back. So quite a nice packaging um, Sebastian does on his games. Right, everything's falling over there. Right, there we are. I'll come back. Now, are the three-inch discs still being made? That's a good question. <coughs> Um, Sebastian, uh, can you answer that? Tapes make me wet, says Tessa Dare. <laughs> um, I did this, this release in the dual case. Nice one, Nish. GP! Hello, GP. How you doing, my friends? Good evening. And Magic Knight as well. Good evening, Magic Knight. Brian Hooper says, I noticed you're rocking that brilliant renegade team. Oh, yes. Rocking, rocking renegade tonight. 
Nice Christmas present, although it is a flip to the camera. Um, oh, Jimmy says, don't know, uh, done my photo release, I just need to cut two wires at the bottom disposal expert. <gasps> oh no, am I going to be clipping wires? I don't know, it's making me nervous. <laughs> Uh, North and South was possibly my favourite game. It beat the Amiga version hands down. Says Steve Johnson. Yes, agreed. Um, North and South on the uh, and on the Amstrad was absolutely fantastic, and we love playing it. Next level, level five. How many levels have we got? So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We've got fifteen levels to beat. I think it's started to get tough now. Steve, just cut two wires only. Okay, I'll talk to you more in DMs, dude. I'm definitely not going to do it on the Amstream tonight. Live. <laughs> oh! I love the bees there. They remind me of the bees in... Uh, I forget which game. I was going to say... Um, Ed the Duck, but it's not Ed the Duck, uh, and it's not Rainbow, maybe Rainbow Islands? Oh no! I should watch the patterns more. I'm recording test, the di I record the test this the discs myself. Oh, Fagazi! Good evening, Fagazi. How you doing, man? Found a nice printing service for the labels. Oh, hang on. Marit says, there will be a physical release in February. February. It will be a disc with some nice gimmicks, autobahn sticker, a nice little traffic light, a traffic cone, and a little car. Oh, that's lovely. And I believe that's going to be coming via the Syntec website. Um, I have to try and find the link for it. Am I safe here? I don't think I've got a time limit. I'm... Oh, no, I'm not safe. I'm really not safe there. If I just sit myself here, I think uh, Sebastian sent me the link. Right, hang on. Let me have a look. Uh, let me just pop over to my browser. That's a good question, Retro Lim. Um, uh, so, Sebastian, if you can answer Retro and Lim there. That it was on the, I think it was for sale on the Syntec web website, and this is where it will be for sale. Um, retro. Oh, hang on, here we go. Am Amstrad. Oh, look at that. Okay, Moritz the Striker, the tape version. Oh, actually, I think it's got both versions. There you go. So if you want Moritz the Striker, it's available here. That was the game released last year, and that, that is as good as this one. So, uh, <coughs> and I think the disc version. Yes, the disc version is available from the Syntec website. So get it while it's hot. I bet there's only limited copies left. So, um, tape and disc available from that website. I'll just link there. Fantastic, there you go. Right. Uh, does the site do C64? I think I did see a, uh, uh, in the menu there, so for Commodore, there was Amiga and stuff, so he obviously does other tools and things. One little one, not one little item to get there. I think I'm safe to the far left here. No, that pesky little wasp there. Did you desert me for haze last night? Did you, GP? Oh, wounded. Okay. No! Oh, no! I've only got 
two lives left. No release on the GX1000, okay. And plus there's no ASIC or CPC plus features used in the main or in the game of course either. I suppose that's a point. It's nice to have it on cartridge, definitely. For quick loading. Uh, but make sure there is a CPR form uh, uh, version of the game available because some people like to load it up on their C4 CPCs. Yeah. Hayes was dressed as the Terminator. I don't believe that for a second. Yay! Finally! I think we're in, we're in Belgium now, I think. It was after vocals I went there. Don't believe you for a second, GP. Um... You want the smell off tonight, Johnny boy? Go easy, go easy. Um, oh yeah, it needs 128k, so it wouldn't work on the GX4000. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Good to hear uh, the girls. Are you doing well? Uh, I'm nearly fully recovered. I'm still bummed up and not feeling great, but I'm nearly, I am think I'm coming towards the tail end of it. Uh, Moritz says, so we will have again something about 50 games on disc, probably 30 cartridges in tins. Did you mean tapes in tins or carts? Taught in the Taz, I know, man. Sure, yeah. Badly wrecked there on the previous run. Um. Hi, all. Uh, Brian says, my uh, my daughter, Cleuna. Uh, oh, sorry. I, I nearly pronounced that wrong there. Cleuna. Says good night and she loves the Moritz game. Oh, Cleuna, good night. I didn't know you were watching tonight, but I hope you had a nice time watching and um, seeing Dad's work, Daddy's work on this game. It's excellent. How much love he's getting in the chat. Good night, Cleo, Cleuna. Having a good night's sleep and have a great weekend. Oh, you do mean cartridges, Moritz? Fantastic. Wow. They're gonna have a cartridge version of this game. Awesome. Maybe we'll only work on the CPC Plus. Okay. Maybe we can get it down to 64K in some way. I don't know. What's this? We've got statues having wheeze. Why are the statues peeing? Is this something weird in Belgium? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so watch watch the patterns of where these enemies go. That just goes in a square pattern around like that. Okay. Ah, <laughs> you can jump off his wee wee. <laughs> oh, sugar! I've only got one life left. I think we're gonna have to snapshot through this game. <laughs> Before it gets too late, though, I will release the game in our Discord. Okay. Damn! I very nearly got wrecked there. Fantastic. Uh, Belgium, we're in Germany. I think we moved away from Germany, dude. It looks like Belgium to me. Uh, a mannequin piece is quite famous. Of hey, Crazy Borg. Good evening, Crazy Borg. How are you doing, my crazy German friend? When I visited Belgium decades ago, there was a very nice waffle house there. They're famous for their waffles, aren't they? Belgian waffles. Oh. Mannequin Peace. <laughs> Isn't he really called cool, that? That's amazing. He 
It's white that spoke. Oh, gee, you think I need to lower the tone? I'm going to blow my nose game. One second. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Dreaded uh, Rona. Daddy, don't see the surprise in level nine. Um, what's that? Sorry. Uh, it's, <laughs> where was that? Sorry, I missed it. The, they don't see the surprise in level nine. Oh, oh, okay. What, 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 what? I won't see it now. Did I do something wrong, Bruno? Did I? Did I? That was close. Okay, so that wraps around. Oh, cost. Wrecked. Oh no, poor Moritz. He's wrecked C5 there. Oh, that's a lovely came over screen. Hey, Malamut, Barry Roadrunner, who knew the auto farm was this long? <laughs> and like a walk pass. <laughs> Sorry, Pete. Sorry, Ultimate Kitten. I, I've got the uh, I've got the dreaded Rona, so I'm all like bombed up and stuff. Do you know what? I think it's time we release the game. I think it is time. So, what should I do actually? Where should I put it in my Discord? Games channels. Actually, let's create a new channel. Actually, um... actually, we'll create a text channel. Uh, let's call it Moritz. Hang on. We use underscores. We'll put it in the game. Uh, you can't see it now, can you? Hang on. Let's do it like that. So in our games channel, let's create uh, Moritz on the auto barn. Okay, create channel. And we'll add a file. Download the game here. The game has now been released. For everyone, we will pin this message. Ah, uh, Yellow Belly's already typing in there. Welcome to the Moritz on the Autobahn channel. We'll put that to the top of the list here. So it's in the games um, channel here. Oh, it's in my Discord. If you're not in my Discord, exclamation mark Discord gets you the Discord link. And of course, um, it will be on CPC Power website soon, as of course. Bruno will get that sorted. There we go. We see a Vimst and a Crazy Borg there. I tell you what, should we put also put um, Joan? Um, should we put Jonah's? Um, oh, for goodness sake, better on him. Should we put Jonah's uh, No Time to Drive music there as well? Should we do that? Is that okay, Sebastian? Um, and Odie, good evening, Odie. <laughs> For goodness sakes, retro on limb. Um, brilliant. Thank you, Zyphe, and especially to Moritz, the underground, your fantastic team. Uh, Sebastian says, sure. Okay, as long as Jenna's okay with that. So, the no time to drive, the music, is... Disc is there that we used at the start of the stream. Um, also, we have some of your teams. Uh, we'll put the box art there as well, for people. And I think there was a team photo as well. Where was this? Uh, 
Oh yeah, this was the team. This is Team Moritz. There you go. That is Team Moritz and their pictures there. I think that that's Brian, top right, hiding behind his pint of beer. That's Jonah Ship, the musician. Uh, which one's you, Sebastian? Is that you, bottom left, Sebastian? You have to point out in the Discord who's who. So. Uh, uh, well, we'll put that in the Discord for everyone. Where is it? Uh, Team Moritz. I feel like loads of people are already in the channel there. Fantastic. So, um, that's Team Moritz. It's a PDF file, unfortunately. We need to convert that. Never mind. Jonah looks like Cole Pilkington. <laughs> nice. Um... I think you'll have to explain who the other guys are. Forget the names now and uh, their faces. Oh, excellent, Dasadair. Good stuff, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Okay. I'm going to come out of that now and get back to the main game. Poor Moritz there. We can't leave Moritz like that. No. And again, if you look at the previous game, Moritz the Striker, here's the link uh, to the uh, physical release in the, in the, in the um, chat there. Don't watch Lobo the Cat, too close. What does that mean? Thank you everyone there in the Discord as well. Awesome. So if you want to get the game, it's in the Discord, it's in the games channel, and it says Moritz on the Autobahn. I'm sure you'll find it. And that's for everyone to play for themselves now. Hey, evening vocal. How you doing, mate? Good stream last night, mate. Well done. I'm glad we got the night bot sorted for you as well. Right. Let's try and get a bit further in, Morris, on the autobahn. I will snapshot before each level. And we'll get through this. I mean, look how fast and smooth it is. I like how you can change direction mid mid air, mid jump. I always like that in a, in a platformer game. One thing I've, I've got to mention, there is no fall damage. Like, you don't die if you drop too far. I hate that in platform games like Manic Miner and others. It's a big sin. The platform games should be fun. The main to jump about a lot. And I hated that in Donkey Kong as well. Play Vespertino now. I believe... Right, I don't know anything else. Remember when we had Fran, Professor Fran, Cisco Galigo from the University of Alicante, CPT RetroDev guy, when we had a live interview with him last year, and we asked him, do you know anything about Vespertino and the Batman group? And do you remember he went really shy and went like, I speak to them? And he like grinned. And I was like, Vespertino, is it coming in 2022? And he sort of grinned and smirked, and then said like, I cannot say anymore. So, my spidey senses are tingling that we'll get Vespertino this year. We'll see. We'll see. It's not a myth. Shut it, Retron Lim. If I'm wrong, fair enough. Fair enough. All right, let's try and uh, let's try and do a little bit better. That, that was my practice run. Simple levels to introduce you to the game. That's always a good way of doing things. Well done, Sebastian. Right, level three. I'm gonna. I am gonna take some uh, snapshots now, and we're gonna get through this. Uh, so, Moritz, the Autobahn, level three. Snapshot taken, just in case. See if I can do this about dying, though. No. I'm reloading. You get a generous amount of lives, so you get nine lives. Hang on, I thought cats get nine lives, not dogs. I got a bit scared there. Oh! Sex lies. And Amstratates <laughs> has donated three pounds. 
Hang on, there's a message there. Oh no. Reddit C64 underscore fan group admits Vespertino was a prank and troll, headed by a salty northerner with a Geordie Racer t-shirt. <laughs> Oh, bless you. I know that is. That's going to be. That's a GP referencing OSG there. Thank you, GP. Bananas in the chat for GP there. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> That's a GP. Oh, no! Poop. Reload. That is naughty, naughty GP there. Thank you, GP. Uh, mods, can you let OJ beat his message come through there? Ass. <laughs> Thank you, GP. <laughs> that goddamn C64 fan group, eh? As always. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a tight jump. Very, very good collision detection. So that's one thing I hadn't mentioned yet, is that we've got good collision detection in the game. Ah! Where's that crazy um, drill guy going? A biker to go by. Oh, oh! Oh my goodness! That was close. That was really freaking close. Go, 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 go. Yes! Oh. Whoa! That's a cat! Wow, is that Swedish Krona? That's a dare! Thank you for the 50 Swedish Krona. How does that... I think that works out to about four English pounds, but oh my goodness, that's a dare. Thank you. That's really kind. Wow, thank you, Dasa Dare. Holy crap, dude. Thank you. Bananas in the chat for Dasa Dare there. Thank you. But the timing on that as well, just as I finished the level. Thank you, Dasa Dare. That's very, very kind of you. Thank you again, GP, before that. And, of course, Lewis Waddo. But, like, Dasa there, thank you. Nice to have you back on the Am stream. I'm glad you're having such a good time as well. And the chat is going nuts with bananas for you, Dasa there. That's how we thank kind donators. There we go. Thank you. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, right, let's get, let me get back, back to the game then. Where were we? This is level four. That was close. My favourite looking levels so far, level four. I like the look of this one. A nice easy level as well, actually. There you go. You sticking to the cherries, are you, um, Crazy Borg? Fair enough. Level five. Uh, four pounds six p. Thank you, Hey Hon. Safeway, we'll go the safe way down here. Yes, let's go. I looked to nestle them in banana. Listen, was that the more? Hang on, 
I love to nestle them in a banana hammock. <laughs> Level six in Belgium. Okay. I'm an idiot. Wait for that to come down. I'm rushing that. Clear these off to the side. Oh my god, that was so tight. That's such good collision protection there as well. Right, okay. See, where's that guy going to come? He's going to come there. Good, this is good. No, 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 no. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Jonah! <laughs> <laughs> Jonah shit! Oh my goodness! With the 464, I'll give you I'll give you all the dancing sugars for that. And some bananas in the chat, please, for Jonah! <laughs> Carl, Pilkington, <laughs> Carl Pilkington says happy new ab stream. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you for the 464. They enjoyed the Dancing Lord Sugars. Jonah. And thank you so much, Jonah, for all your help on um, get, doing the music for uh, Zypho's Nightmare. I know if you were here at the start of the stream, uh, we showed uh, the teaser trailer for the game. If anybody missed it, do you want to see the Zyphos, uh, teaser, uh, Zyphos Nightmare teaser trailer again? Let me know in the chat if you missed it and want to see that again. And Jonah, if you missed it. Jonah, help me out with the music so much of that. And Jonah is a big part of this game as well. Jonah was the, like, um, converted... Um, oh, who was the original musician? Uh, some guy composed it. I forgot the name, Sebastian. I'm so sorry. Uh, and Jonah then got them transpo got these music transposed into Arcos and Starcos. And tweaked them and stuff like that. I did loads of cool stuff for, for this game as well. And he was a big playtester of the game and helped get sound effects with the music as well. Hey, oh, you've seen it. Okay, good, Jonah. Okay, good. And we'll give Jonah some love in the chat there. Uh, Andy missed it. Uh, Ultimate Kitten missed it. Play it again. Livering missed it. Andrea says play again. Okay, guys. All right. We'll play the trailer for Zyphase, uh, Zyphase Nightmare. A new game. Coming from Yellow Belly. Um, Brian's involved again. Brian did the graphics and sprites of this. Jonah's helped me out on the music. I've done the chiptune music on the game. Um, Yellow Belly on coding. Bruno, I think, Cool Cool Can has been helping out Yellow Belly as well in various ways from right. Uh, Yellow Belly can say more in the chat. Here we go. We should do Zyphose Nightmare trailer one more time. Here we go. There we go, boys and girls. Coming to an Amstrad and Antstream service very soon. Zypho's Nightmare from Yellow Belly. And we'll release the uh, we're gonna release this that teaser trailer with some edits and some changes. Probably on Monday on my YouTube channel. So get when that goes live, keep your eyes open for that. There might be some extra stuff in there. 
You never know. And share as far and wide as you can on Facebook, Twitter, and Discords, and all that kind of stuff. Um, that music was well chip metal. <laughs> That's interesting. Vimster. So I'm going to do this weekend. I, I think I'm going to do a special Patreon uh, video for the members of the Am Squad. So if you're a Patreon this weekend, I think I'm going to put a video and I'm going to play the whole music. And also, um, the original uh, composition, which is um, done on guitar and is quite metal. But you'll see, it's kind of more like... Monty on the Run meets the uh, Robocop level music. Um, that, that kind of mixed those kind of blends. But it originally started off as a kind of a rock tune I broke for a band. Never got used. It's finally getting used now. And you'll see how close it is. Um, so I'm going to show you. I'm gonna, if you're a patron this weekend, probably on Sunday, you, I'll, I'm, you're going to get to hear the whole of the Zypho's Nightmare tune. If you know he's okay with that. Um, keep it to yourselves, of course. I'll also play you the original band heavy rock metal version of the song as well. So you're, you're going to hear both this weekend. So uh, if you're a patron and a member of the Am Squad, that should be coming to you this Sunday. And you'll see like, the origination origin, the origin of the song. Um, and also that Amstrad CX-1 keyboard. Actually, I'll show you what I mean. Um, what is it called? Amstrad CX-1. A CCX-100 keyboard. Uh... Let me find an image of it. Right, hang on a second, guys. Do you see this? I actually own one of these Amstrad CX CKX 100 electronic keyboard. That actually helped with the composition of the song as well. Um, pay, uh, I bought this uh, of Simon Osborne a few months back. And I did a Patreon video on using this keyboard, actually. So Patreon's had a video of that. And um, actually, the, the composition of the chip tune was actually done partly on a real Amstrad keyboard. Just to keep it all Amstrad. How cool is that, boys and girls? Uh, the rest of it was worked out using this very dusty guitar I've got here as well. So the idea was to kind of have the Zypho's Nightmare, a very upbeat kind of like... The fat bass lines and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I have a really upbeat tune that just it's going to loop, uh, but it's going to just gonna keep your adrenaline going because the game is more of a score attack game. To get a high score. The game does you do complete the game and then it loops around again. To see if you can improve your score. It's going to clock and a timer as well. So I wanted to make a tune that was just kept going, kept your kept, kept the uh, adrenaline going. So that was a whole idea. Originally, it was more of an Iron Maiden in the galloping bass line. I, I, I ditched that idea and went to this idea. Um, I thought the galloping stuff has been used by... Oh, oh, hold on. Fenrir. Just quickly, the galloping bass line in kind of music has been used by McLean in games like Red Sunset already. So I switched it over to that song you heard there. Fenrir, thank you very, very much. Great very... premiere streams, Ifo, and a great game. I look forward to your eventual Vespertino exclusive. I have <laughs> faith in Batman Group. Whoa, Man Shovel as well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> First of all, oh my god, Man Shovel. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I've had a quick crack at Moritz on the Autobahn and it's awesome. I'm sure everyone is looking forward to Zypho's Nightmare as much as I am. It looks downright vicious. Hail Am Squad. <laughs> Let's give some extra dancing sugars there. Thank you uh, Am Shovel there for the 464 dude. And thank you for your support man over the last year. You've been incredibly, incredibly generous. And um, I'm really, I'm really like loving that you're enjoying Moritz. And he's only been playing it as well himself just now. And uh, he's looking forward to Zypho's Nightmare. Fenrir, thank you very, very much. The five pounds there as well. Uh, bananas in the chat again. One one, one last time. And the bananas rain down from Fenrir and Manshivel there. Two extremely generous gentlemen there. Thank you. Uh, and Fenrir said, great premiere stream, Zypho. And great game. Look forward to eventually uh, your eventual Vespertino exclusive. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if I'll get exclusive like showing of it. I doubt I would, but like, um, who knows? Who knows? I just can't wait for it to come. Can't wait for it to come. Uh, what was that? Fat bass line, Simmy. As fat and as heavy a, a, a bass and drum I can make on the Amstrad. Just like Zypho's rearing. How rude, Gangrel. How you doing, Gangrel? Welcome. But like, uh, I, I tried to make the bass. I, I've actually doubled up the bass. And Jonah helped me with um, some flange on it. And you're going to have the, the, the heaviest drum and... I say drum and bass, but I mean drum sound and bass sound. Like I can really do on an Amstrad anyway on that one. It's just it's just fast, it's quick pace, keep the keep the adrenaline going. But thank you, Man Shovel and um, Fenrir. There, that's brilliant of you guys. Cheers. We're gonna pause the music and we're gonna crack on with some uh, level seven here. Take a quick snapshot. And Manic Panic. Good evening. Welcome, Manic Panic. Isn't there an announcement from BG Games in the next few weeks? Someone posted that in a Facebook group, but I haven't seen anything on the Batman group Twitter. I'll have a quick look, actually. Uh, Batman group. I'm just looking on their Twitter feed right now. Oh! Oh! I missed this tweet. Tweet. Batman group. You might want to stockpile some groceries this year. A massive bat quake will soon rock the, re the retro scene. Stay tuned. What could this possibly mean? I, I, I had not seen this tweet. Something is coming from the Batman group then. But I don't know what. I mean, I, I know they have their fingers in other systems and stuff every now and again. Yeah, they've not tweeted anything else, though, for a long time. We're going back to like, November. Uh, really, since they were last proper tweeting. So, um, they've got something coming, possibly. How you doing, Manic Panic? Happy New Year to you, my friend. I hope you've been keeping well. Uh, Bruno says, no more life, one only. What does that mean, Bruno? That clip is from Akira. Well spotted, um, Gangrel. I think they just use a GIF. Like, just a simple... I don't think it's anything related to uh, what they're actually making at the moment, but... <laughs> You never know. You never know that Batman group. I've just seen Yellow Belly in Discord, Sebastian, says he's going to be stealing your codes. Now he's got the uh, Moritz game. That naughty Yellow Belly. Oh, God. So this is where I died before, wasn't it, guys? This is where I got to... Oh no. Okay, now we're good. We're good. This guy comes back and forward. <sighs> uh oh. Uh, how do we get up there? Can't jump on this thing. Am I, am I soft lock, Sebastian? Uh oh. I think we're soft locked. Oh, that sucks. You dead. Oh no. All right. Reload it quickly then, go. The joy of emulators and snapshots. <laughs> Stupid boy. Disappear. That's a silly risk. <sighs> that was close. Let's just 
clear this area. Oh no! Zypho snapshot game. Well, I want to get through the game tonight. I want to show everyone what to, what we can expect. I've, I have no shame. No snapshots in Zypho's um, nightmare when it arrives on Ant Stream, though. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. I don't know how I survived that. No! After all that, after all that. Sorry, I was looking at the chat there. Hey, FC Denhog's in the house. Good evening, dude. Welcome, my friend. How you doing? This is the new game we're playing. This is Moritz on the Autobahn. We've got the uh, coders in the in the chat here tonight as well. Um, and Jonah again, thank you for uh, all your help, my friend, as well. Um, for the very uh, kind dono there. I'm sorry you got called Carl Pilkerton in the chat <laughs> as well. Yes! Oh, there we go. Uh, Moritz, yes, Moritz the dog is back, FC Den Haag. He's not playing football last time. Remember he was in that football-like platform, uh, Moritz the striker. This is last year. This is, his, this is the new Moritz game. And he's on the Autobahn in the Kraftwerk style music in his Sinclair C5. Level 8, uh, Gay Paris. First time we've got here, actually. What the hell is that? I'm being chased by a running sausage. I mean, that's tough. Oh. How am I supposed to get that heart there? Get that one. I'm going to take a snappy here because this one could get quite nasty. Hardest heart to take. So oh. I'll reload. <gasps> I'm taking a snapshot of there. Holy crap, that was a difficult jump. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Taking a snappy there, screw it. One more to get. Right, okay. 
sort of a process of elimination. No! Okay, I panicked. Doesn't matter. It's okay. We're still alive. We're still alive. If the running, whatever the hell that sausage man is. Oh, all right. We're, hey, we're in the UK. Moritz Bond in no time to drive. Press a key to continue. Oh, is this the secret? It's supposed to be a baguette with arms and legs. I'm <laughs> sorry. Of course it's a baguette. It's in France. Brian, apologies for um, misidentifying your sprite there. Everything that anything that looks like a sausage will get called a sausage here. You know, you know how it works. All right. Welcome back to the Amstream. Good to see you again. Happy New Year. Mad one as well. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm not reading that out, Mad one. You're trying to catch me out again, Mad one. Kev, I tagged you in Discord with a big thank you. I got, I found like uh, yesterday you gifted me a game on Steam. Thank you, Kev. That's very, very kind of you. I'll, I'll have to talk to you more in DM. I'll, talk, I'll send you a DM. Is that Miss Money Poppy we've been? Actually, me and Sebastian were having this chat earlier because it's like people are. We're talking about when people were spelling Moritz's name wrong. I, when, I, when I say it, it sounds like Morris. Now, Morris is kind of like an old fashioned name in the UK or the England, really. Morris. So maybe that other dog there is Morris. Moritz's UK cousin, maybe. Who knows? And Mortis um, is a kind of a Spanish Portuguese name, so apparently people in Spain often call Moritz Mortis by accident or something. And that's his Spanish Portuguese cousin or something. Anyway, what do you reckon, um, Sebastian? Damn, I wish I had all my. Um, James Bond scenes I had for my James Bond stream set up now. Loving the music here. Guys, you enjoy just for another 30 seconds. I'm just going to grab a drink from the fridge from my kitchen. I'll be back in 30 seconds. Hang on. Put the volume up a little bit for you. Dog another day. Nice surprise that. I love that. I love that. Just brilliant. What am I drinking? Uh, San Pellegrino Orange. Is any orange um, fizzy drink I can find that doesn't have sucralose or spartame in? Right, we've still got a way to go yet. I think we've got like six levels left. 
Oh, the music carries on. Brilliant. Let me just take a snapshot here quickly. Okay, we can jump on the bre on, on the bro uh, the brollies. Of course, it has to be raining in in the UK. Phone uh, the phone boxes we can't jump on. Okay, interesting. My only feedback would be about the game is that it's sometimes hard to tell which um, objects you can jump on and which you can't. But that's like a minor, like, uh, constructive uh, feedback. Quite minor. Level 10, we're in Island. Posse galore in dr drive another day. <laughs> you see the message there. Sorry, Tango. <laughs> That's right, Brian. <laughs> I need to find that Rio. Johnny, I can't find that Rio anywhere. Hey, Sawmaster Amstrad, welcome to the stream. Music is always excellent in every Moritz game. It is. There's another different spelling of Moritz there. Moritz with A-U. There you go, Sebastian. The UK's overcast and miserable is so true. It's a bit like Bomb Jack, I suppose. I don't think Moritz will meet Mortis. <laughs> Let me just take a quick snappy there. Level 10. Is that Angry Leprechauns? Oh my god. And there's pints of Guinness flying around. Oh! Jonah, you're a you're a genius of your music. It's just a great a great idea adding adding this in as well. Oh no! That damn leprechaun! I'm an idiot. And I'm also rushing it a little bit now. Come on, Zai. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, being cautious. I nearly, I nearly died there. Oh, level 11. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, 15 levels. There we go. Dog finger. <laughs> yes, uh, Bruno is part of the uh, Moritz team, Summer. Yes. Right, level 11. We are in Spain at last. Whoa. Okay, we've got to get this timing right then. Woo! That's hard. Can we go under him? It's better we have to jump over. It's so much harder to anticipate where he's landing than uh, where he's jumping, if you know what I mean. Okay. 
Oh. the top bit here. Go when he... Go. I'm taking a snappy here. <laughs> I'm not going to cut this up. Oh my god, that was tough. Snappy time there, yeah. Well, we'll get Moritz games are there besides this and Moritz the Striker. There's one more. Moritz and, is it the Pink Pills? I'll tell you what, we can have a look at them after this, actually, if you want. Uh, Pink Pills, Manic Moritz and the Meds. That was the first one. That's got some crazy music in it. We'll have a look at that as well. Why not? We'll have a bit of a Moritz fest. Right, level... 12. These two guys are quite random with their movement. Oh no, one of them's just bouncing around. Okay. Right, you're going to just do that. Not, no, he's not entirely random with his movement. Shocker. Here we go, level 13. Three levels to go. What's going on on this level? Oh, right, I thought that was just, I thought that was just gonna drop down. Holy moly, okay. safe here. Oh! Holy crap. How do, I don't know what the timing is going to be like on that. Okay, I... Ooh. Okay. Oh! Oh! Okay. Nearly got it. Wow. Yep, yeah, too late on that one. Okay, go, 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 Moritz, go! Now we just gotta get back. Yes, let's 
Let's go! <laughs> I think we're in Portugal now. Wow. Who knows, GP? Who knows? I see, I see what you're saying there. <laughs> nice reply there, mate, Maze. Oh, man. Excuse me there. Sorry, guys, the burp there. Uh, oh, every whisper. Welcome to the stream. It says, hi, all. Never joined a live stream before. The game looks like a cross between Manic Miner and Bomb Jack, which is a good thing. Every whisper. Welcome um, to the Am stream. Can everyone tag every whisper and give them a nice big Am stream? Hello. I'll, I'll start off there. And uh, make them feel very welcome. This is their first live stream chat they've joined in on. So let me make, make them feel at home, please, guys and girls. Every whisper, welcome to the Amstream. How we like to get to know new people here is that we ask them what's their computer or console gaming history. Like, what was the first computer or console you you started with when you were growing up? What's your first favourite console, computer, whatever? We start from there. And you can tell us your favourite games and stuff. Morit says, this will be the hardest level. Sorry, Zai. Oh, Hey everyone, thank you for tagging Hey Whisper there. Uh, sorry, uh, thank you everyone for taking the tagging Every Whisper there. That's really, really nice. Thank you guys. And Ravi! Good evening, Ravi. How you doing, my friend? Happy New Year, dude. Hope you, hope you had a good uh, festive period. Right, level 14. This will be the hardest one. Okay. <laughs> right, okay. Oh yeah, let's jump on this. Ah! Okay. The trouble, of, the trouble is, is knowing where from the top of the screen are they going to be dropping from the uh, beach balls ah is it from the tree I saw the pattern. Let's go! Level 14. Here we come. Um, uh, it's like the Netherlands looks a bit weird on the map. Does it? Because uh, I don't know the exact country shape and lo um, proper position. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> did we go through the Netherlands on this game? I can't remember now. Did we have a, did we trip, did we have a trip through the Netherlands on this one? Oh, is this the ending next? The game well done. Congratulations! Morris has, uh, has finally met up with his Portuguese cousin. on top. Oh, oh, okay. I missed it on the map then. Sorry, dude. You've done it. A win. There you, there you go. Uh, every, oh, every whisper's there in the chat. New person in the stream. First time in the live stream. 
Well, I didn't think you noticed me, thanks to the mention I feel famous. Oh, bloody hell, I try, and I try and notice everyone. Everyone is always welcome here. It says, I've watched loads of your vids ever since I found the Running in Time one. My first computer was a force exhaust to emulate it to this day. Nice one, every whisper. What was your favourite game on the 464, my friend? Is it Bill Wyman? Lovely day, this music. It's kind of like a twisted version of it. Lovely day, lovely day, lovely day. Nice, Jonah! Is this your music? <laughs> Does the uh, music loop forever? Or shall we let it play through, Jonah? Bomb Jack is the best game ever made. Ah, oh, I love the Amstrad version of Bomb Jack. There are some slight differences with it in the arcade monitors, the screen layout. I'm told, but I love Bomb Jack. I think it's one of the best arcade conversions. Bill Withers, not Bill Wyman. Bill Withers, sorry. Bill Wyman. Thank you, Magic Knight. All music was done by Pedro Pimenta. Oh, and then you got it working in Arcos Starcos, right, Jonah? This game is another great tribute to real Moritz. Yes. So, I don't want to make Sebastian sad, but um, he had... He had a real dog called Moritz, looked like Moritz here, and this is the way of tribute, uh, giving, making a tribute to Moritz. Moritz sadly passed away, I think, last year or the year before. Um, the Sebastian has a new dog now, but Moritz is forever in our hearts and forever immortalised on the Amstrad in three brilliant, <laughs> fantastic games. Your father is from Porto, and I said to Denhog. Thanks all for watching. I hope you play it and have some fun. So don't forget, guys, that it's in our Discord. Um, let me let me just sort something here. So if you want the Moritz game, um, exclamation mark Discord to join my Discord. I'll give you the Discord server link. And if you go to the games channels, there's a new Moritz on the autobahn there. And you can download the disc here. Oh, sorry, there it is. Oh, look at all the reactions there already. Fantastic. There you go. Look at Pat GP there, naughty boy. <laughs> there you go. That's where you can get this one. It'll also be on the CP Power website, I'm sure, by um, tomorrow or something like that. And we can have a look at some of the Moritz games quickly before you go if you want. And well done, Team Moritz, as well. Well done, everyone, Team Moritz. We'll show a bit of Moritz the Striker, I think. And we're back to the title screen there. Fantastic stuff. Well done, well done. What a great way to start the new year uh, with a new game. That's so much fun to play. So what we'll do... <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. We'll show you a quick bit of Moritz the Striker. Just a game from last year. No, oh, that's going to cock up, isn't it? Hang on. Cat art. Thank you. This is Moritz the Striker from last year. Thank you for the G to the G there. Andrea, thank you for the support there as well. Um, yeah, guys, if you've been enjoying the stream, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream. I know it's annoying me asking all the time and other people pushing you to do it, but what happens is that the more people that interact... Moritz, the striker. Oh, several speeds. Moritz, the striker. The more people that it shows interaction on the stream and the likes and the thumbs up, it means the Google algorithm starts suggesting the stream to new people that's how we get more people joining and new people we, it's always good to be growing thank you those of you that's given us a like so oh 63 i think we're up to now i think we're down to 62. <laughs> fair enough thank you all the thumbs and likes up there guys i appreciate that I 
and uh, Sebastian is a big fan of Liverpool FC. So's uh, Retro Lim in the chat there. I'm not playing bloody Bridget. There we go. I'd, I'll spin on because I want to show the other Moritz game as well. I know it's getting very, very late for like... Um, uh, I know it's getting very late for the Team Moritz guys. So we're based in France and Spain. It's probably gone midnight their time there. <laughs> Possibly Hey Hunt. <laughs> There we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, there's Pedro Pimento there. Yeah, of course, the music there. Yeah, it's just after midnight in Germany as well, yeah. So all you in, all you guys in Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, and Netherlands, I think you're like an hour ahead of us, so it's like just about midnight where you guys are. Ken Foster, I know! Forest Colours. I'm a Nottingham Forest supporter, me. But you are too, aren't you, Ken? I can't remember. Here's Moritz. There you go. What you're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna collect the football. Oh no, we have to collect the flag first, I think. Uh, or not? Hang on, I, I forget. Ah oh, no! Keep the ball at the flag. Uh, I forget now. What do we have to do? How do we get rid of the wall? I've forgotten. have to. They get the ball in the goal. I love this tune here. Retro Lim will smash him. Thank you Retro Lim. <laughs> oh, uh, Murray says, Sebastian, yeah, after midnight, sorry guys, I have to go to bed, it'll be a hard day tomorrow, thank you all, it was so lovely. Uh, Sebastian, I hope we gave it a really good launch party tonight, um, I hope you enjoyed that, we've got lots of people loving the game, and that's what the whole point of it is, you've got a big community of Amsa people, that have loved watching it tonight, they're going to play it themselves, and I hope we've given it a, uh, a suitably decent... Uh, launch party, and it's a great way to start 2022 as well, something positive as well. <laughs> Zombie Nation and Lazy James, yeah. Good to Nax, Bon Nui, uh, Good to Harvards, and uh, yeah, good night, Morit, Sebastian. Great job you've done there, and I'll be one of the first people to put my an order in for a physical release coming soon. And Bruno, are you off as well? Good night, Bruno. Oh, hang on. Oh, yes, the ball is locked behind a wall there. We're going to click the TNT at the top there. We'll do one more level on this, and then... Uh, oh, my bad. Oh, no! I think the 
the story here is Moritz wants to play for his beloved club Liverpool FC and uh, has to impress Jurgen Klopp with his uh, ball collecting and shooting skills. I think I think that's the uh, gist of the, uh, the, game, the story of the game. Oh, bugger. Right, we'll just do this level and then we'll move on. those Newcastle players. I think Mor uh, Morris on the Autobahn certainly is in some way an improvement uh, over this one. The goal's wide open now. And little Morris has a dance. You only like QPR GP because Noblebook does. Naughty boy. Uh, GP, I will talk to Sebastian about it getting on Ant Stream as well. Um, we know Sci Fi's Nightmare is going to come there, so we'll try and get that as the next one, maybe. Who knows? Yes, FC Deadhog, similar, similar, same reply to you. I take any Arsenal or Newcastle players or enemies. <laughs> they are, apparently. Alright, we're going to have a quick look at the other uh, Moritz game very, very, very quickly. It was called Pink Pills. Um. Let me just find my disc of it. So we're going to look at the first Moritz game very quickly. Uh, hopefully I've downloaded this. Yes, I did. I know Sebastian's gone to bed, though. This was his first game. This was at least quite a few years ago. And he, I think he's a bit embarrassed by it, he said. Pink Pills, Manic Moritz and the Meds. Ooh. Your riff mix. That reminds me, that might be one problem getting on Ant Stream. The game uses cover co covers of songs. There might be a problem with licensing on that. And then we're very strict on the Yellow Belly. I can tell you now, in, in the Ant Stream version of Typo's Nightmare, there won't be any Ewoks in the game because of like licensing. Shoot, let's turn it off. Sounds more like the Baron Panson version, yeah. Space cool. See what else we got in store on this game. Brilliant. So sorry to ruin, ruin that with um, an Am's honk, Am's honk there. Andrea's loving it. <laughs> Moritz partied like a rock star. <laughs> he has. He has had quite a, quite a life, has poor little Moritz. <laughs> I don't know what that link is, Retro Lim. I don't click on it. <laughs> right, I don't trust you. <laughs> May the bones be with you. Okay. All right, let's do Joyce. <laughs> it's a half. I'll, I'll crank up the volume for this. We ready for a party? It's an downstream party tonight. Ha! 
Mikey and JD, you just tuned in at the right time for a bit of aha. <laughs> I know you love this one, I do too, man. How you doing, Mikey? Hello, JD. from last time actually we're just like just everyone just like uh see times we're playing i know this looks very very different right what we i think we're collecting the bones ah the multicolor You had to escape in a Doctor Who phone box by the looks of it. Ow! Ah, <laughs> wrong <to> the <laughs> I 
don't know what you mean, Summer. Sorry. What, 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 what do you mean? Oh, you son of a biscuit. Come on. I, I want to see the next. I want to see the next level just to hear the music. Right? Sugar.
this game, I love it. Me too, Jonah. Me too. I love the randomness. Now we've got, we've got swimming levels. That's amazing. I mean, it's pretty simple stuff, but he's just it's like Sebastian has just gone like the extra mile, and I love it. I love when it goes to do that. We're all doing it, it's great, yeah. <laughs> we haven't got the uh, game 2021 yet, as promised on the stream earlier. We should, we should do that soon. But uh, for now. <laughs> hey, it's a hard time! Remember that far back last year? I don't know, I think we just stopped because we were like taking two blocks into the music. Smiley blocks. Ah, okay. Boom. Smiley blocks, yeah. I'm doing a competition with a PS5. What is Lionel Richie's band called? What is Lionel Richie's band? I have no idea. Commodores, I was going to say. I knew it was going to be slightly trolly. Wasn't sure if you were asking me the jit question or not. My dad used to call them the Commodores. Yes, but that's the 
only is this mate, the mate. Nibrig says, see the service, 10 o'clock time start. Is that legit? the music right okay X Town says Secret Service Total Pleasure X Town welcome to the Amstry thank you as well there right has anyone heard of that band and song before idea what level we're on. Moritz, uh, pink pills. I'm going to take a snappy there. Level something. <laughs> or other. I'll call the file. There's another Moritz game. Hang on. We've got to find that then. Uh, good night, Brian. Take care, dude. Thank you as always, man. And great work uh, uh, you've done there as well. Oh my goodness. They did do another game. Sebastian works on Mike the Guitar. Oh, this looks kind of cool. Alright. I've never played this before. I'm just, I'm just going to download the disc here. Uh, you see, you see. Hey, Nish of CPC Game Reviews. Nish, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Take care and good night, dude. Alright, we're going to check out one more game from Sebastian, the guy behind the Moritz games. Um, oh. Wait, 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 wait. You're saying game over? What? Did I die? Oh, I must have been killed by that thing. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, so this is called, this is called Mike the Guitar. Hang on. Oh, I need to... Sorry, I forgot to switch back scenes. I got I got killed in the game. Doesn't matter. Uh, I thought it was a uh, thought the game would crash. Anyway, never mind. Um, hey, every whisper, thank you. Um, I, I'm glad you had a nice time. I'm glad everyone's been nice to you. We have a really, really lovely, friendly community. <laughs> and if you fancy keeping in touch with us, there's our Discord link. Um, more than welcome to join in our Discord to keep in touch with us and just chat to get to know everyone. I also stream on Twitch in the week as well in the in the evenings, like about 8.30ish usually. On uh, Monday to Thursday, so you're more than welcome to pop in there as well, uh, every whisper. Take care and good night. You're looking at 10 o'clock postman on YouTube. Wow, that's just got the worst miming ever. Okay, I was cheap. I'll have to check that out later. Nice music here as well. Not a cover though. It's GP off. Good night, GP. Thank you for the cheeky dono earlier as well, dude. Take care, my friends. Good night. <laughs> night, night, GP. Oh, Lucas tonight. I thought Lucas popped in earlier. Did Lucas pop in earlier? I'm so behind. I've lost who was here and who wasn't. The music play. Is this an original song or a cover? Yeah, I'm sure Lucas was here earlier. Mike the guitar, music on stop by Sebastian Bra uh, Brannert. Tim 
Are you playing as a guitar? Oh, am I being chased? Oh, right, okay. I think I've got to get to the guy top left by the looks of it. Nice music, but I don't recognise it. There's been like cover tunes. Wow, that was harsh. do next? I don't know. Is, is that tuna cover? Does anybody know? I, I, I don't, I personally don't recognise it. And I've got a head continuously chasing me. I can't. Ah! I don't understand the game. Oh, it's called Big in Japan by Alphaville. Oh! It's one I don't know that well. Why is my energy on one? That seems a bit unfair. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing anything different in this game. There are more plectrums. I'm just gonna get caught by that guy every time. Hmm. Okay, I don't, I don't quite know what's going on there. I'll give it one more go. What am I doing wrong there? Are you heading off, OST? And he just got here. Bloody hell. Uh, no, no worries, man. Uh, my daughter in my house who hasn't got coat. Oh! I went up a level! I see! Oh! Right, it's like... I got it now, I got it. Let me just pause it there. So, obviously, it's anyone now anyway because I've no sleep. And now there's only my daughter in my house who hasn't got COVID. Everyone else test positive today. Oh no, OSG! Sorry to hear that, dude! That sucks, mate. I honestly, uh, sincerely hope that everyone only suffers mildly from it and you get like a mild cold rather than anything serious that's going to need like, hospital attention or anything like that. So, all, my, all the best, OSG. Take care, man. There you go. That's Mike the guitar there. So, um... He's got some treble clef at the top. Actually, I'll give it one more go. Seems we discovered that there's another layer to the game. All right, one more go. So yeah, the treble clef at the, the, the yeah, I think it's a treble clef. You call it takes you up to the next level, like so. And then we could come down and get the plectrum there. Oh, I just picked up some energy. Oh, I'm going to need... Oh, no! I started us at the bottom there. I see. All right, it's a clever little game this. Interesting concept. So we picked up some pills that gave us some e extra bit of energy. So I don't know how we release the plectrum there. something else we do on a higher level. Is that Moritz there at the top in his car? Uh, uh, I don't know. How do we get through? I don't, I don't know. There must be something else to do there. I keep dropping off to sleep and I have my fingers crossed that she keeps coming around and waking up. Oh! Ouch! Ouch, OSG. Uh, yeah, take care, dude. Take care. 
No, I was pressing fire and nothing was happening when I had a plectrum. So I either got the keys wrong or something. You have to catch a previous plectrum to release that one. I thought I already had it. I don't know how we get to the other plectrum then. Oh, we've got another tune here. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, guys. We will leave um, uh, Mike the guitar there. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to take a quick break to get nipped nip to the toilet. If we come back, we're going to have a look at some of the best games of 2021, as promised in the stream. I think we'll keep that quite short tonight, maybe. I think I'd like to go on to like, the next third section, which is game requests. That seems like a more fun thing to do, actually. I don't know. So, um, oh, hang on. Jimmy says, got to get off now. Great to see you all. Take care. Have a great weekend, everyone. Much love, Zyper. Great stream, mate. Good to see you, as always. Catch you up soon, mate. All the best. You're a top man. Thank you. Oh, bless you, Jimmy. Always leaves of lovely, lovely thing, things he says there. Thank you, Jimmy. Sorry, what am I talking about there? <laughs> says always says lo very, very lovely things as he leaves. Thank you, Jimmy. You're the top man, as always. All the best to Janie. Lots of love to Janie. She's a top lass as well. Um, take care, dude. We'll see you soon. And all the best to you. Um, I'm going to take a very, very short break here, guys. Um, what I'd like to know, uh, while I'm just on a break, while I just get to the loo and get another drink, is what were your New Year's resolutions... And if you didn't make one, what would it be now? If you made one now. All right, guys. I'm just going to have a very, very quick break. And I'll, back, I'll be back with you in like one to two minutes. So I'll, I'll be interested to see what your New Year's resolutions were. Or if not, what they would be. You had to do them now. All right, guys. I'll be back with you in about two minutes. Okay, guys. In a bit.
<laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you for sticking with us there. Let's have a look at what have people been saying then. Um, Yellowbelly retracted his message. What did you? What did I miss there yet? What did I miss there, Yellowbelly? Um, my res Paul Henderson, okay, Fenris, is my resolution is simply to be a bit healthier. After my A and E scare end of last year, kind of made me realise while I was fine then, I could easily not be. Wake up call right there. Yeah, do you know what, guys? Actually, I'll show you. Um, I was like, um, this is this arrived the other day. I've got Bob Mortimer's autobiography. I freaking love Bob Mortimer. He's such a dude. I was reading his book about like um, how how he was living and uh, just being quite lazy, sedentary. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, that right, that chimes with me a little bit. And then of course he had these heart issues, didn't he? And it just came out of the blue. And I was just thinking. And he was talking about how he's always feeling a bit like drowsy all the time, a bit lethargic and stuff. And I'm starting to feel like that as well. I don't know if it's the meds I'm on or not, but um, I was thinking like, could that be a sign of like arteries clogging up and the heart slowing down a bit? Like, I think I better get my ass in shape this year. <laughs> but yeah, I hear you, Fenrir. I hear you. Uh, Ken Foster says, kind of best, yeah. Ken Foster says to field an entry in the comp. .sys.sinclair crap games competition they make a shoddy port of it to the CPC that sounds cool man you know I'll feature that on the Amstream Ken if you ever do that <laughs> uh, imagine I says to eat less drink less cycle more and learn to play my synthesizers good man good man yes good 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 uh, more says not as resolution as such but improving diet and exercise uh, me too man me too um, I think I might get my ass to the gym this year one of the annoying things is I uh, like Oh, um, some good news. I don't want to curse it tonight, but my vision has been r so much better in the last week or two. Uh, I got switched to new meds, like, just before Christmas, to do with the ocular migraines. Touch wood. I've not had one since, right? I've not had one over Christmas or at all. And I, god damn, I ate lots of cheese and chocolate and junk and drank so much red wine. Like, that, they are major triggers, apparently, for migraines. And I've come out of it all right. And my vision is not, like, off or blurry. Like, by this point, I would have dimmed the brightness on my monitor to, like, zero. I could barely see much in the game, but I just need to get the brightness down. My vision is, like, really good at the moment. The problem is, these new meds have side effects. And... They make you lethargic and drowsy. When I wake up, as I oh God, it feels like I've, if I've had an eight-hour sleep. It feels like I've had two hour, two hours after a night on the piss, and like, oh, it's like, oh, such a struggle to get out of bed. But also weight gain. And this is very similar to pills I was put on like my first time round, and after losing about a stone and a half in like about a few weeks after cutting out cheese, chocolate, alcohol, caffeine. And loads of sugar, because they're all triggers for migraines. Um, within uh, about a few months, after not changing my diet, I put all the weight back on again and more. And I'm like, why am I gaining weight? I'm not. E I'm eating better than I've ever done, and I've not like crept back into bad habits. It was the pills. So if you see me sort of go a bit chubbier over time, that's why I lost a bit on the last bit of pills, and these new ones put weight gain on. So I might look. Even chubby as Zypho this year. Who knows? But yeah. I shall... Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shall I, I shall endeavour to probably have to get my ass down to the gym to try and counter that. Because I don't do near enough any exercise. <laughs> yeah. Yellow Belly's New Year's resolution is 320 by 200. <laughs> That's the Amstrad's resolution in mode naught, right? Right. Andrew doesn't do resolutions. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Uh, I probably should like make a decision at any point during the year than stick to it. I Jonah, I love watching his Bob Mortimer's mort mort what's it called? Uh Mortarian mort Mortimerian Tales on that YouTube channel. I was watching one on the other night. Excuse me. Oxo Good says, no, nah, it's just middle age, dude. I, I don't know. I don't want to put it down to middle age. I know like with middle age you're not quite as athletic as you used to be and stuff, but like um I don't know. I don't know. That kind of like always that always tired thing. Maybe because you're not taking care of your uh, your heart well enough and your arteries are thickening up. Blood flow is not going as well as it should. That's what scares me from Bob Mortimer's book anyway. Uh, Johnny Boy says, My reason is to buy a bike so I can ride to the bab shop and not pay delivery costs. 
<laughs> I'll worry about you, Jolly Boy, and all your kebabs. Um, May May says, my New Year's resolution is 128 by 128 based on the handheld I'm currently emulating. <laughs> Feels like a downgrade. And Yellow Bones is my serious New Year's resolution is to get another game out this time. And maybe on Game Boy Color. Oh, very nice. Now, Yellow Belly, you were working on your own Yellow Belly game, weren't you? It was like a uh, top-down gauntlet style thing where you was a barbarian chucking axes. I remember that. What's, happen what's happening with that, Yellow Belly? Are you going to do that as well first? Uh, Fenris says, way games from med sucks for sure. That's part of my issue too. So I just trade off. I find you're better off with the meds and the weight gain than not. Mm. So yeah, if it's just making me feel worse and get more unhealthy, I might have to come off them, even if the like working for the migraines. It's kind of it's a tough one. Uh, just pre pre record your club nights and get out of the dance floor. I don't dance anymore, dude. I don't. Um, Dogstrad says, "Hey, I'll check out the Discord for a free giveaway I'm doing for the community." Oh, okay, okay. What's this then, Jockstrad? Just very quickly. Uh, oh, wicked! We got some new people joined in the uh, Discord tonight. Fantastic. Um, uh, Where's, where is it? I'm just looking in the Discord right now. Hang on. Oh, here it is. Jogstrad. Uh, evening, right? I'm going to give away my Anne Burnick RG351M handheld gaming device to anyone that wants it free of charge. You only need to pay postage. I know there may be more than one that wants it, but you need to fight amongst yourselves. All right. You need to place everything up to PlayStation 1 perfectly, including the Amstrad. This is my Christmas present to the Amstrad for giving me so much enjoyment over the years. Guys, if Al says he wants to wants it, you lot of goose. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I've got so many handhelds now and stuff like that. I even got given um, this actually. Can you see that? It's the uh, it's game Game of Watch Legend of Zelda. Uh, the green screen's making it knackered and stuff. But I've been playing Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. I've got um, uh, a modded Game Boy with a multi cart got for Christmas. That was cool as well. I don't know, Jogstrad, how do you want to um, decide who gets it? Let me know. Um, get on the Atletico Mins podcast. I don't have time to listen to podcasts, this Vinster. That's my problem. Um, I've heard good things about it. It's Bob Mortimer's podcast, but it's about football, isn't it? Right. Um, okay. Uh, Manchester, I'm looking into knee surgery I put off a few years ago this year. Oh, really, Manchester? Better late than never on that one, I'd say. So, good luck at that, and, and good that you stick uh, gain ahead with that. Good luck at that, dude. And more to be doing some yoga and felt better for it. Mrs. Zypho is trying to get me into yoga. Not for me. Um, I think I'll just get my ass down the gym, I think, probably. Go to give peeps a number and pull the winner out of a hat. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want to do that on the next Am stream somehow, Jockstrad? Maybe. Um, up to you, my friend. You, it's your your thing. You're giving away. You decide how you want to do it. If I can help with it and make it a fun thing for everyone, then um, yeah, maybe we could talk on uh, DMs like tomorrow or something. Uh, you got that too, Brian. Oh, brilliant! Uh, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, the Game Boy, on that uh, on this thing. It's utterly stunning. Link's Awakening is the best Zelda game ever made. It's probably my favourite game of all time as well. Anyway, what we're going to do now, then, guys, is we're going to look at some of the best games of 2021. Um, honestly, I feel like going for like game requests tonight and being a bit random, but like. Um, Let's just see if there's... Uh, I think we need to see, uh, look at over some games. Well, we, we, we need, I think we'll do this for like half an hour, 40 minutes, and then we'll finish a game request or something like that. Um, I think it's time we looked at some ones that uh, we kind of that need a little bit more love. So last year on the Am stream, we had loads of new games last year on the Am stream, not counting CPC Retro Dev. We had Morris the Striker, which we already looked at. Open Tower Defense, Aeon. Oh, we need to have a look at Aeon again. It was Dr. Roland, Le Voyage de Nephi, Bugs Quest for tapes, Sim Chronicles, Los Amores de Brunilda, Puzzle Bobble, Shovel Adventure, Wild Oh, that was CPC Retro Dev. 
Gem Jam Josh, CPC Bullet, Just Get Nine, Rayleigh Goes Rescuing 2. To be honest, actually, a lot of them we did, uh, seems quite recently on the AM stream. So I'll just look at the games from the first half of 2021 that we haven't looked at. Aeon. A E A E O N. Let's have a look at that one. Let's get a game up and running anyway. Oh. God damn it, I need to blow my nose again. <laughs> yeah, uh, just seems I just don't have that time anywhere. Uh, even with doing tasks, I've got like mini Zypho running around, being a being a pain and stuff like that. <laughs> Amasive, good night, dude. Good night. Let's let's try part one here. Good night, Amasive. Take care, dude. Nice to see you again. It did not jock Strad, but we can maybe do a game request later for that one. And this one, oh god, interesting because it ships across the blanket of space for months. Jesper Golden Stark has been surveying distant worlds. What's that? Who remembers Aeon from last year, guys? Planet not on my charts. There's life, some kind of energy reading. There's no music here, is there? No. But let's. Uh, I'm gonna pop the volume down on mine anyway. Right there we go. I better take a closer look. Oh. Very nice pictures. Right. Aeon, arrival at the planet, equipped with a heavy spacesuit. Jesper Golden Stark sets out to explore the planet and discover its secrets. The body indigenous indigenous wildlife and the chasms of toxic acid as you traverse the surface of this new world. These are what the game loads. I remember this is four different distinct games to this. Oh, got music. Each level is a different gameplay type. Unfortunately, I can't do either of those games, Jonah's ship. Uh, I would like to feature them. Unfortunately, got the, the author of those games, unfortunately, we had to ban from the channel for bad behaviour, unfortunately. So, a real shame. All he has to do is say sorry and apologise. Um, but he hasn't. This is years later. So, there's two new Amster games out last year that I can't cover on my channel. Is it The ball is in his court. That's what throws Chaos Rising into a warehouse. What a shame, what a shame. Um, left, right. Two, oh, left, right, okay. Fair enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. There you go, Simi, you ought to get yourself into some podcasts then, with her Alan Vimster saying there. I work from home as well, though. But generally, when I'm working, I, I I need to concentrate on the work I'm doing. And any downtime at work, I use it to like try and get some bits and bobs done for videos and streams and stuff. So, podcast in the background is too distracting. I really ask something. Art sometimes you have to. It just it just becomes too awkward, main haze. All the dudes has got to do is say sorry. Uh, I mean. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. I, I don't know about listening to music. <laughs> like, I listen to like Motley Crue sometimes, but I actually detest most of the, nearly, pretty much all the guys in the band of Barmic Mars. I think they're all wankers of the highest order. But like, um, I don't know. Because this is a live stream of a live chat, and I, uh, I just, uh, I can't be dealing with like, yeah, anyway, let's not get into it probably. Oh, question is, if this was last year, why did it say 2018 at the bottom? So, uh, there was a ZX Spectrum version came first, and then they converted it to the Amstrad, uh, and it was released in 2021. There's your answer. Phew! Oh, Mansion, I'm glad you're on the same page as me on that. <laughs> Motley Crew. Right, let's start the game up. 
Uh, Jimmy says, gonna head to, gonna go to bed now. I'm dead exhausted. Take care, everyone. G uh, good night and sweet dreams. Hey, take care, Dreamy. I hope you have a nice time chilling tonight. Take care, Dreamy, and I hope you'll see you on Twitch in the week. And Johnny Boy, we're gonna be giving the Specky some love. Now, I've got to decide between a Specky stream on Monday. Because there's loads of new ZX Spectrum games that got released that look really, really freaking good. Uh, for Twitch. Or, um, Tom, uh, sorry, NES for Man Shovel. I think I might do Specky this week and then NES for Man Shovel the week after, if that's, if that's okay with you, Aaron. Do you remember about Vince, Tommy, the Noggles, Egg Burritos? That I don't... That doesn't ring a bell, the burritos thing. I just... Like, like... I've seen enough of the guys, I so know they're, a, <laughs> they're quite tossers, really. Yeah, angels, we'll be, we will be looking at that, Jonah. Take care, Dreamy. Have a great weekend. All right, it's a nice little single screen platformer. I think it's made in the same um, software that uh, Sebastian and Moritz team was using the multi-arcade, multi-platform arcade game designer. Well, oh, that's a bonus life. Nice. Plays very nicely. I think that game designer is only really good for, like, single screen platformer games, to be honest. But, hey. It's in the dirt book. I have read the dirt, Man Shovel. Yes, but it was a long, long time ago. So we're going to do a, a, a big any a Nintendo Entertainment stream on Twitch, probably a week on Monday. Well, I don't know. I might change my mind. I might do NES on Monday. Oh, man, sure. I don't know. Or Johnny Boy. I don't know. One of the two. Don't know if I have enough time over the weekend to gather together all the discs and ROMs or whatever for the Specky stream. I've got them all for the, the NES one. It's just taking requests for the NES one. Nice stuff game. I like the tune in the background. Ooh. It's as gross as you probably think it is. Oh god. Oh yeah, the acid drops in this thing is random. I remember this now. These <laughs> I got right up my nose last year. This. I usually free day Twitch is Monday, so any Monday is good with me. So Monday, I kind of like want to do like an old school retro system, generally. Like NES, Spectrum, Amstrad, Commodore. Wednesday, I like to do kind of a playthrough of a game. Like we're doing Quake and Half-Life and all that kind of stuff. Playthroughs. Five Barkers on Dime, we've got to get through. Occasionally, I might switch it, switch a rhythm around. Generally on Twitch, I like to do just what I'm feeling like, rather than constrain myself, and it becomes a chore. Ass. It's a decent enough wee little game, this. Alright, be patient, patience, patience. Hey! Hey, there we go. We did the first part. Press the key to the next part. Will do. Hey, Vimster. Take care, Vimster. Um, happy New Year again, mate. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Oh, hold on. Is my chicken not raw in the chat? Where did I... I missed my chicken not raw. Where, hang on. Where, where, where was he? Hey, my chicken not raw. How you doing? Good to see you, my friends. I've had a good festive period, dude, and a happy new year, my chicken. <laughs> uh, awesome, man. Hope you've been keeping well. Um, May May says the yeah, unfortunately the limits the game make have uh, become quite quite clear quite quickly. You can put some creativity in it, but after a while, every game starts to feel the same. Specky suffered a lot with it. I will say so. Not to put down Sebastian Yellow Belly or this, the makers of this game, but I hear what you're saying. 
I did ask um, Yellow. I think I was asking Yellow Buddy because like, can you do scrolling in in um, MPAGD, where it's called? And he's like, no, no scrolling. Well, I'm told someone else said, oh, there's a new version that does do kind of some kind of primitive scroll. So as, as soon as it can get away from the single screen format, it could be an interesting tool. If he could do like vertical and horizontal smooth scrolling, suddenly that opens it up to a whole new range of things from like shoot 'em ups to footy games to whatever, you know. Um, so who knows? Yeah, we had a My Chicken Not Raw command, I remember that night. <laughs> nice one, man. Shelby. You've got a good memory. Uh, okay, Jesper and Curious. Eight crystals of pulse with an energy, gathering some substance, took them back for their analysis. Years of experimentation by scientists with the Brock. Actually, we'll skip through this. We're going to spin through. Look at the nice pictures. We don't really care about the story. We did the full stream of this game anyway last year. Surveying for crystals. Uh, Jordan pilots is tracking around the bar, bar barren surface, checking with survey spots for crystal deposits. Find all the survey locations while keeping clear of the dangerous dust tornadoes that roam the plains. Okay, cool. I think this is a good example of them trying to do something different with the game engine, actually, Mame Haze. So now we get a different type of game. Oh, I should have redefined keys. God damn it. That's never mind. I can, I can work with it. QAOP. I mean, again, it's still single screen, but we've got a, kind of got a different type of gameplay now. We've got sort of a maze exploration. Eight survey things remain. Okay. Oh, idiot. I'm an idiot. Nice tune. Need to get that dust devil out of the way. Tornado, where the hell it is. There it goes. And again, guys, did anyone uh, get anything interesting over Christmas? I mean, I've asked on Twitch this a couple of times. This is the first AM stream of the year. Who got, any, who got something interesting over Christmas that they want to share and talk about? Ooh, I've only got two lives remaining. Crap, I better be more careful. Ah! Oh, there's another one there. Okay, cool. This funky music makes a difference, a rather simple gameplay. Shug, I've got one life left now. We'll find six more. It's like this that make me realise how much I miss the hamstrings when I'm working. Oh, bless you, Bri. Um, <laughs> I miss doing them as well. Feels like ages since the last hamstring. Manchester, be right back to hamstring. I've been in the for about two minutes since getting snow. And I have to be one of those people that wishes to the convenience store to get bread and milk. Okay, no worries, man, Shivel. You get stocked up, dude. Anyway, there are plenty of games I enjoy, uh, playing using the engine that I enjoy, but you do start to notice limitations. Same with the Unreal Engine on the PS3 360 uh, generation. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Although, you can, you can do a lot more of the Unreal Engine, but I know what you mean. Those games all started to feel a bit similar with how they moved and things shot and all that kind of stuff. Okay, 
and, and it, this is the kind of game that really needs to scroll itself as well. Doctor says I got the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, which is why I'm doing my old handheld. It's also plays up to GameCube. Nice! I've not heard of that before. I might have to consider it. Oh, it always starts in the same place. Oh crap. I'm, I'm gonna get screwed here, aren't I? Oh no, it's random where it starts. Okay, that's cool. Right, let's boogie. I uh, got them in condition JY2, I went on eBay for uh, UK for £5, is that Christmas? Very happy about that purchase. Nice, I got mine in a charity shop, like, hang on. Very similar thing, there's like a little charity shop selling like old ladies clothes down the street, and in the window was this! It's you on the road I live on, or near the road I live on. And there was a sticker on it, you can see that. Where is it, hang on. 50p! 50 pence! Half a pound! Box! And works! Even though it's a crap joystick. <laughs> so, nice one there, Chiefy! Nice one! Oh, you got an awesome board game, Methenry. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna get wrecked here. Hang on. No! Oh, I'm an idiot. I've got no lives left. What happens when I don't concentrate? It was a great find, wasn't it, Brian? But to be fair, that was quite a few years ago. It was like 10 or so years ago. That's <laughs> like <laughs> cool. Uh, what was Paul saying there? Oh, no! I died. Oh. What I'm going to do, I'm going to load this up again, and I'm going to choose part three to play. Part three was the most fun one. Uh, so I mentioned the Switch, but I've got an awesome board game where you have to um, um, assassinate Hitler. Follows the war history pretty closely to it, and players all work together instead of against each other. Nice. That's cool, dude. Have you managed to have a game with some friends yet? My best Christmas present Simi says was two new uh, Autophon carts and my Technics 1210s. A bunch of 90s rave records. <laughs> nice, Simmy. Nice. Right, here we go. Uh, Aeon Communications. Desperate for the money to survive. Jester Golden Stock gets a job installing vital communication dishes. Uh, send the towels and install the dishes on each screen, avoiding the garbage thrown down by the construction robots. Okay, cool. Fagazi is loving the music there as well. Did you have a good Christmas as well, Fagazi? Happy New Year, mate. I'll read the bunch of actually again. This is kind of like um, Atamant meets Bomb Jack. It's a little slow. Uh, I don't know how many dishes you're supposed to install. It doesn't show you where you're supposed to install them, though. So you have to have to sort of hover around for a bit. There it is. I assume it's uh, one per screen. Go to next tower. Cool. The guys he got hidden by Brian Hooper. What happened there, Brian? <laughs> and then unhidden. The guys, are you still able to type in the chat? Let me just check. Play my friend last week. It's pretty cool to play. Very hard to actually win, though. Is it one of those? Um, is it one of those board games that goes on for hours and hours, or is it as long as you need, sort of thing? 
I like this level more than the platform levels. I think this is the best level in the game. Oh, there it is. Right, okay, cool. Oh! Wrecked. Oh, that's a bit unfair. You don't know when someone's going to pop out of a window. I thought I lost two lives lost there. Very unfairly, I thought. Just to keep away from the black square, basically. I've got it there. Cool. Um, I see a bit of crazy climber here. Yes, yeah. Let me tell you messages because I think my soft fingers are guilty again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Vagazi can type. As long as Vagazi can type, we all we don't mind a little mistake here and there. That's okay. Where the frick is this dish supposed to go? Just to hover around until you find it. Oh, right in the middle there. Friends, if you kill Hitler over the game, you should be over 20 minutes. If you don't, this military strength team keeps away until the Allies weaken in a picky moment. Blimey. So it could be one of those games you spend hours and many hours around a the table on then. And Simi, any 90s rave records I might know you got for Christmas? I like the graphics on this level as well. Oh. It's got up here, isn't it? I knew it. I just had a feeling. Quite a fun little game, this. We'll move on to the next one after this, anyway. I, I a completely different game. Oh, let's look at the chat then. Let's go to the left. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh, Ooh, I was lucky then. Sorry, continue. Just press the key to go to the next part. Oh, we did it! Okay, that was quite quick. There we go. This place looks like Crazy Climber with a jetpack there. Yeah. No worries, Brian. No worries. Um, right, next level. Uh, I think we're going to move on, though, to a different game, though. What should we have a look at next? I'll just show you this quickly, anyway. Right. And we got a similar game to, like, the first level, basically. The fight is four levels, but actually three, it's three levels of completely different gameplay types. All done in a single screen type thing, but a very cool little package, this. A neat little uh, game. Lost a bit of, quite a bit of variety to it. Nice tunes. Nicely done graphics, if simple. And there, there you go. There you go, that was Aeon, there. That's cool. Right, what should we look at next? We had open tower defense. Uh, ooh, Dr. Roland. Dr. Roland. That was quite a good one from last year. Um, there's Dr. Roland gone. There we go. Got it here. Thanks to the GGs there. So that was Aeon there. What do we think to Aeon? Scores out of 10 for Aeon there, guys. Out of interest. Oops. What would you score A on out of 10? I'd give it a 7 and a 7, maybe 7 and a half. I think that's quite a nice little package, that, for a new game. And this is Dr. Roland. This was going to be entered into the CPC Retro Dev, by the way, guys. Unfortunately, it got kicked out of the competition because oh, they were worried about... Nintendo getting upset with copyright infringement because it's of course a version of Dr. Mario that was famous on the NES and went on to the game but the Game Boy and all that. I thought this was a really, really good version of Dr. Uh, Dr. Mario. 
Ooh, one sec. Yeah, bloody Nintendo. Oh man, I gotta blow my nose again, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Seven, seven, seven and a half, seven. Yeah, we're all around about the seven-ish, aren't we, for Aeon? Sounds about right. Uh... Oh, well, hang on. Did I get a joystick right? I did. Right, okay. Oh, that's it. You're going to destroy the viruses, haven't you? That's a, that's it. That's how you do it. Gonna get match the colours on the viruses. There you go. Did you get it now, guys? Pretty easy. Pretty easy concept. Uh, <laughs> uh, what have you got then, Simi? I got Nush you girls. Don't know that one. Convert, Nightbird, Hysteric Ego, Want Love, Susie Carl All Over Me, Seventh Sense Breakout, Shiva Freedom, Del Jackson, Love Commandments, Mostly 90s House Gems. Damn! I didn't know a single one of them. I might know when I hear it, but I did used to love my early 90s Raven Dams. But I can... Um, that's like... Psh, I'm sure they're all absolute bangers, Simi. Nintendo goes around ruining everything fan related. I know. There's such like meanies and like uh I, I don't I don't understand Nintendo. I don't think anyone does. I mean Nintendo have their own very unique way of doing things. It's worked fairly well for them. They don't seem to care too much about PR, which is kind of like interesting. When you think about it, how many game companies and just companies in general are, are obsessed with their image over PR and social media, right? Give you an example. If you're having a problem with a company, say like you got you bought, uh, I don't know, you bought a phone and it was faulty and you wanted to return it to them and like they were like, it's, you could get through a customer service and when you did get through to someone they were rude to you and told you to sod off and like it was dragging on for ages. How do you get their attention? You go on Twitter and you tag the company and all their different handles, go to Straceful Service, get a few people to retweet, and suddenly they take notice and they're like all over you. Suddenly they want to help you. Like, all, all these companies are obsessed with like um, PR, you know, social media. Nintendo, don't give flying Fs about it, flying farts at all about they seem to be about their social media presence and if people are saying mean things about them they just carry on being nintendo and in a way i kind of admire that on the other hand screw them as well <laughs> hang on oh is andrea off um andrea take care andrea you got any time one no worries uh, yeah have a great rest of your weekend andrea i might pop in on the book stream tomorrow night if you're there as well take care though all the best to you and your family. Um, <laughs> good night, Andrea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is why they make billions. Are they, they're obviously doing something right, aren't they? Blue and red there. Let's get rid of that one. There. Get a red, that's fine. Blue. Blue, blue one there. Do the same reds. Get rid of them. No, oh no. 
I don't know if that's... Oh, I could get rid of that. Okay, we need to get rid of that yellow one there. Blue and red, blue and red, blue and red, blue and red. Ah! Uh, uh, get the blue, double blue down there. Ah, oh, this is good. Blue and yellow there. You see how this is working out now, guys, yeah? Let's get rid of the blues here. Right, uh, red. Red and blue, red and blue. Oh, through this. There's one of the viruses gone. Cool, cool, cool. Get the yellow on there. I don't know if this is the best tactic for Dr. Roland, but... screwed up guys oh that that's bad as well <sighs> man get rid of these out of the way oh man oh, sugar the controls are quite sensitive let's get rid of the yellow there Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think we're back in it, lads. I think we're back in it. Uh, oh, there's two red ones down there, isn't there? Right, we need to get red down there, don't we? Oh, that didn't kill it! We need to get rid of this thing quick. We need to get rid of the... Oh, no! <laughs> the only complaint I have about Dr. Rowland is that the controls are very sensitive. Like, overly sensitive. It just needs like a tiny, tiny split second delay before it moves or something. And it was like, oh man, it's ever so sensitive. If you push right, it might move right twice, if you know what I mean. That was fun. That was Dr. Roland there. Very good version of um, Dr. Mario. What would we score Dr. Roland out of 10, boys and girls? I don't know. I'm going to give this a solid eight, maybe eight and a half, maybe. Ryan Hooper says, Twitter is the best customer service available for a lot of situations. Indeed. I can tell you with my own company I work for, um, um, let's not say too much about them, uh, but we're now owned by a big multinational corporation. They have a team just dedicated to social media, Twitter and Facebook posts. And there's a 24-7 team watching those Twitter and Facebook posts. If anyone's in there complaining, they are straight on it. And it's probably the quickest way you could get, like, direct to someone higher up than, like, a first-line phone monkey. And it works. It works. Just moan, moan on Twitter. Generally. If you, if you have to be careful about what you say and how you do it. The chief, he says, damn, I didn't, I totally didn't notice that fart sale everyone is talking about. What, what, what sale, Chiefy? I'm lost there. Let me says, my only issue with Nintendo is when I ordered an uh, um, LE game. Is that Leg uh, Legendary Edition? And they sent standard. Oh, right. I rang and they said keep it and we'll set up limited edition version right now. They were ace with me. Really? Well, that's cool. Maybe they have really good customer service when you speak to them directly. And they don't need to care about social media and their PR image and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Fair play to Nintendo there. What's some scores are 8 out of 10, 7 and 8. Wardle gives it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 out of 7, 8 pills out of 10. Nice. <laughs> okay, awesome. Alright, let's do a couple of bangers from last year. Probably continue the contenders for game of the year. Thinking about when we get around to the sugars this year. Remember the sugars last year, guys? We shall definitely do a sugars this year as well. All right, let's have a look at one of the most hotly anticipated releases. This was Seam Chronicles Arcos the Traitor. Remember we checked this out last um, 
it's September or August time. Ryan gives it a 9 out of 10. Do you know what? You're right, though. It is really close to original Dr. Mario. And in many ways, it's got some nicer things about it. And there's a versus mode. You can have two players. That's extra cool. So I'm raising mine definitely to an 8.5 out of 10. But it'd be like, um, if we do percentages, it'd be close to that 9 out of 10 because I'd probably give it 89% or something like that. And Robin Hook gives it an 8 out of 10. Well, so guys, let me just, I'll tell you, I'm going to mute the mic this time. I'm going to blow my nose quickly. Hang on. Oh, the music stopped. All right, I'll load, I'll load up the first part and let you enjoy some music. Just while I'll just blow my nose a sec. Oh, nice picture. Oh, look at his eyes. <laughs> I hate to blow my nose. Um, that's music here. Cool. I missed out on the opportunity also then. Uh more Twitch I guess. Oh Chiefy, are you on about that influencer? I don't know if she was on Twitch, I don't know what she's on Instagram or something. But she was selling her yeah, there was a girl that was selling her farts in a in a glass jar for sale. It's like that gamer girl bathwater thing from the year the year previous. But she was literally farting into a jar, sealing it up, and then selling it for a thousand pounds a go. <gasps> and she made a fortune! There's really are awesome, some sad nerds out there that bought a girl's fart in a jar. And just, you know, can imagine them at home going, Oh, night, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus! Like, if they just want gill farts all the time, they can just come and live with me and just have experience it from Mrs. Zypho, who farts like a trooper constantly. Oh dear, I'm in trouble now. She made a fart tune. <laughs> Very good, Fagazi. Fagazi, I think you can. I think you deserve a cloud. I think you deserve a crowd. A cloud crap for that. Hang on, where is it? Nice one, Fagazi. Good joke there. Um, but apparently, yeah, that, that was it. She was in the news because what she'd been doing, she changed her diet. She was eating like, like I don't know what she was eating. It was something about black, uh, she was eating this mixture of black beans and something else to try and get more and more farts. And she actually ended up in hospital from like, she had all these pains coming up from her stomach to her chest. And they said it was all the wind that was trapped in there. And she was <laughs> just trying laxatives and stuff like that. <laughs> the world we live in now. The world we live in. Oh my goodness. Right, uh, let's do joystick. Music. Yeah, we'll leave it on. Right, okay. Here we go. Seam Chronicles. Now, who remembers this? And if anyone read the new Antics magazine, I, I actually reviewed this, and I was a little bit critical of it. I'm going to see if, I, if my criticism was fair, and I'll tell you what my criticism is shortly. Do not drop down to that platform there, you'll be soft locked and have to kill yourself. That's annoyance number one. Uh, grenades. Absolutely stunning graphics. Uh, animation moves really nicely. 
Love the music as well. Oh god damn it, didn't kill the plant. No! That was like a oh I needed that power up as well. I think that I think that like uh, makes you vulnerable. And you really need it for the boss at the end of the level. Damn it. I really love like, the galloping bassline music, very I made me. I do love a good run and gun run and gun game though. Careful. Yes, run my son, run. He's got a boss here, he's temporarily invulnerable, you can get rid of the helicopter boss. Really quickly. Oh my god, we made it to the second part of the level. And that's a checkpoint restart there as well. But we've got no energy left now. Annoyingly, you can't jump up here. Rock's too high. You have to sort of run from this rock here. Oh, god damn it. There you go. Just made it. As in Grizzle described it. Oh! That's the next remake from the Sugar Remake. I know as slapped by Alphon, the uh, new version of that is coming out very, very soon, guys. The physical copies you can now order. What else has been remade? Pinball Dreams, you know, and all that. One game I'd like remade is... Rizal with scrolling and outrun. I'll, I, I will take Vespertino if it ever comes out. Oh, I got. Oh, I died. Yeah. But thankfully, we're at a restart point. No! I jumped too. Oh, I jumped too soon again. Oh, I forgot. Hang on. This is the area where you get soft locked. I, I really hated this. I think I don't think they should really have a section where you can get soft locked like that. That's ridiculous. It's game over. And I, I was like, at, up to this point in the game, I was really enjoying it, and then it just gets ridiculously hard in this cave. And there's places where you get soft locked all constantly, and it just sucks the enjoyment out of this one for me. It's a shame because I like the first game that this is a sequel to, which is Galactic Tomb. I loved it. Uh, and I was really liking this, and then I, I don't think they got the gameplay design quite right. It ends up not being fun, in my opinion. Mm. Brian's new favorite runner gun is Blazing Chrome. It's a nice hard match of the Contra series. Oh, what system is that on? Is it like a PC Steam or something, Brian? Ghost of Goblins. Oh yes, we've got the Ghost of Goblins 6128 Plus version coming out this year as well. Uh, main major like to see Flicky ported the CPC GX1000, especially the GX. I think it could be close to perfect. Ooh. It would be a good system, to, uh, a target system for that one, I think that. Blame the soft lock and a bit harsh that. <laughs> this came out the same time as Gryzer. I feel Gryzer would have been overlooked. You're right, probably. Alright, I'll give it another go. The problem with this is the second part. Do you remember the second part of this game? It's like a homage to the game called Game Over. And it uses exactly the same level layout. The problem with that is... The original Game Over, I didn't rate much. And that was in in insanely difficult. And it ended up being just a mad rush to the nearest the next power up and hoping it would be an energy restore or um, invulnerability, temporary invulnerability pick up. And it was just a rush fest from pick up, uh, power point pick up to the next one. Hoping you'd get like an energy restore or a shield or something like that. And it wasn't really skill in terms of uh, accurately jumping and shooting. See I got lucky there that 
If I didn't get that pickle, but I got like a pack of grenades, I'd have no chance against this helicopter. Bait it. Right, we're in the cave system without losing a life. That's cool. We've got only a tiny bit of energy left, though. This is the soft lock area. Oh, I made it. And then get wrecked. Hey, Super Jim Tendo. How you doing, man? It was nice that you found me on Twitch last night as well. How you doing, Jim? Coming in for your 1am visit, as always. As usual. Oh, I screwed up the jump. That means I've got to kill myself now, because there is no way to get out of here. I, I really think that's a bad game design. That was just... Not fun, guys. Not fun. It's a shame because everything about the game is just like brilliant. From the coding, graphics, sounds, music, animation, presentation. And then it just, just kind of sucks all the fun out of itself. Some daft gameplay designs. Right, there we go. We made it. I hate this as well. You can't hit these things on the ceiling very well. And by the time you destroyed them, you've lost half your energy. Oh great, a pack of grenades which I'm not using. That was the power up you did not want. Got quite far there though. There you go, that's Sim Chronicles. What do we think to Sim Chronicles? Am I being too harsh? Or oh, do we think it's a good game? Or are we overlooking some of the gameplay flaws there? What score out of 10 would you give Sim Chronicles, guys? Um, Paul says, do you think, uh, do you think uh, the newer Amstrad games have raised our expectations for games now? Because games back in the day committed far worse sins than this, but we've also seen much better in recent years too. That's a good question. Do you know what it is? I think with this one, I know the team behind this, they are really super talented guys and they make great Amstrad products. And it's kind of like, it's more annoying when I know, I know if they spent just maybe a, an extra bit of time giving themselves a week and just tweak the gameplay a little bit in those sections. Um, becomes annoying, but I know they could do better uh, because they have done. Galactic Tomb is freaking fantastic, and it's, it, it feels like I don't want to be harsh on them. Like honestly, if they're watching or listening to this, please don't take this the wrong way. It feels like you're letting themselves down a little bit because they put all this hard work and effort into like amazing graphics, presentation, music, sound effects, a stunning moving game, a run and gun game. And it's like silly, tiny little things like I've just sucked the fun out of it. It's like it becomes annoying because it's like, come on, man, you know you can do, you can you can solve this. You can do better. And it's not meant in a too harsh a way. And at the end of the day, people making these games are doing so uh, and not making any money from it or profit. It's done in their spare time when they've got real life jobs, families, you know, and other commitments. And in their free time, they've given up their free time to make these games. So it just feels a bit churlish and a bit harsh to be criticising. So maybe I'm making too much of a thing of it and I should just accept it for what it is. But like, uh, um, I, I think this one particular has just made me speak up a little bit and go, you could have easily tweaked this and this could have been like a 9 out of 10 game. But because of, because of a few things, it's dropped it from, I don't know, down for me. I don't know. This could have been game. This is it. This could have been game of the year, with the potential there. Because like the first bit, of the game, you're jumping from platforms, shooting things. It's great fun. It's run and gun. You know, it's like a metal slug, grinder type thing, and that's what we want on the Amstrad. And then you go to the cave section where you can't jump very well. You're soft locking yourself in places, and there's no skill in 
like he's shooting. You know what I mean? Because mostly you just try to cheese your way through it. Just run and just run. Rush and run and hope you make it through to the end. And that's not good gameplay. But anyway. Yeah. Probably I'm making too much of a deal out of it, but Honestly, I support the team here. I, I, I love this product. I really enjoyed it. I, I want to see more games from them and I'll happily accept whatever they produce in their very, very short and valuable free time. But yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd have to give it, I don't know, maybe an 8 out of 10. It's annoying because I think it could have been a 9 out of 10 game. And Retroland gives it an 8, Hey Hon a 7, Robin an 8, Lord a 7, Johnny Boy 7 to 8.5 without the sock, sock locks. Yeah. Uh, Warzord gives it 5 out of 10. Des Duke says far too much soft lock. Exactly, Mords. Yes, exactly. Something which could have been eyed out easy because of a big effect. Yeah. Yeah. I think they just slightly took that eye off the ball in terms of the gameplay design and, like, you know, spent a lot of time on the graphics and presentation and stuff. And it's like, all, all that comes down to gameplay. Uh, Brian gives it six and a half simply due to a nine uh, bolt. <laughs> that <laughs> typo there, nice typo. Well, the viewers perspective, that this is a nine out of solid nine, but once I hit a soft lock, then he knocks off two points, maybe three. And there's a few soft locks there as well, and it's just like, what, why, why is that in the game? It doesn't need to be. It's, uh, if if if, it, if you're trying to add difficulty to the game. Is it because the game is too, the level is too short and you've run out of space? So you're kind of artificially inflating difficulty? Don't know, don't know. But it's cool. It's got a cool game, that. Right, um, one other big game of the year that you might have forgotten about. I mean, we because it was like a, a game we actually completed on the stream. This was stunning. Um, oh yeah, I think we have to, have to open another emulator for this one. Hang on, let me just close down Win A for a second. Uh, Los uh, Amores des Brunilda. Does anyone remember that? Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. This looks stunning. It's like a Zelda RPG type game. Um, where's my file for this? Because this has to be a ROM file, isn't it? Right. Oh, that's working. Who remembers this one? Hang on. Uh, oh, I need to plug a joystick in for this one, I think. Because I'm playing a different emulator and I haven't got the keys mapped to a joystick in this one. But I'll just put a joystick in quickly. Alright, okay, the emulator's not seen the joystick, so let me just restart the uh, emulator. Let me try that again. One second, guys. We're going to have to be looking at these again in a few months anyway for the sugars. Major game issues limit a game to 5 out of 10 to me. And while I'm not sure this kind of soft lock is a major issue, it's just a learning experience like Rick Dangerous, etc. I know, but in the run and gun game, you shouldn't have pits and soft, uh, soft locking pits and stuff, I think. Rick Dangerous is a different beast because it is a platformer and you have to think and puzzle and solve things in a way. Working. All right, okay, there we go. So, look, all the languages available for this game. Bravo, the team converting this to English, Spanish, uh, Gallego. I think that's a region in like northern Spain or north northwest Spain or something. Mosquera. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Catala, Portuguese, Italian. I don't know what Nello and Quoco is. Blimey, a lot of languages there. Uh, volume's a little low. I'll just turn the volume up and touch. Look at the title screen. That's nice, isn't it? We actually completed this live on the stream when we did this. When was this? What month was this? Um, this was back in... Oh, this was in October we did this one. So, it seems like a lot longer ago. Awesome. Let me just blow my nose again, guys. Sorry.
So, I was really looking forward to this, because it looked to be like a bit like Legend of Zelda with Link's Awakening, like one of my favourite games of all time, and um, it was on the Amstrad. The only thing I was a little bit disappointed with was we completed this rather quickly. Not quickly, we completed it on one setting in the stream after like an hour or two. And I wished it was a little bit bigger. Yeah, it was too short. Exactly, Jonah. Hey, um, hey, hon, puds. I'm sure he says I'm drifting in I'm going to call it a night. Thanks for seeing his Have a good weekend, everyone. Take care, hey, hon. Take care, my friend. Happy New Year to you, my friend. Um, have a great weekend. We'll see you soon. Best skin rookies to do that title screen, indeed. Yeah, nobody would approve. Do Franciscan monks go on a pilgrimage uh, in the way of St. James? Uh, Frey Gonzalo and Frey Cesario have been walking the whole day decide to rest in the first village they find. A little look, San Artexio do Monteville, post them as many other villages have done on their way. A bit of text of this one, of course. Let's find a place to sleep before it gets too dark. Yes, brother, these forests are too scary and dangerous at night. You never know what could show up. Oh no, not again with your superstitions and fears. I can't help it. It's all because of the darkness. I'll never get used to it. Okay, let's just look for a shelter. The night is falling. And then we're on. Okay. Now, one thing you have to get used to um, is the scrolling is done in tiles, really. But other than that, look how gorgeous the graphics and the sprites are. Um, and to be honest, the scrolling is the same on the, there's a ZX Spectrum version, there's an MSX version, and the scrolling is the same on there. Uh, I think the Amsterdam one, I think was arguably the most uh, nicest looking version of the game. They all move and play identically on the MSX Amsterdam Spectrum. Oops. Got someone to talk to here. And the peace of God be with you, brother. We are looking for a place to sleep tonight. It says, the, the peasant says, you will find Zans in North Village. You'll get some help there. Right, thanks a lot. Oh. And there's things to read in the village. There you go. That's the name of the village. Sometimes he gets in the way, which is annoying, but you can work around the aura of a... Ah, oh, we've already talked to him. Alright, let's just go straight into the inn. I think you have to go around here. Looks like north it. Somewhere around here. I think this is the inn. This is a great looking game, it is! Lovely, lovely graphics. This is why I was so excited by it. I was hoping for a big like Zelda-like adventure and then it finished way too early. It felt like I finished only like a quarter into the game. So I hope they do more parts of this, but I don't know if they will be. And Apocalypse Zero arriving with the bananas, sausages and sausage monks and filth. How you doing, Anna? I uh, hope you had a good Christmas, Anna, and Happy New Year, Anna. How you doing? Yeah, Fenrir. We're not. I don't think we're going to see a battle happen in the game tonight. Because we're only going to have a short look at it. Uh, but the battles are kind of like a rhythm action, kind of like Guitar Hero type type thing. I. It was an in interesting they did it like that, and it was very nicely presented, but it kind of disappointed me. I kind of wanted like a sword battle, or a, as a monk maybe they have a staff. Instead you're pushing direction and matching a rhythm sequence in the battles. And in a way, it was a bit disappointed. I was a bit disappointed by that, but it was still nicely done. Because the Inky says, I'm very sorry good people, I'm currently prohibition the place and I have no rooms available. 
It's a weird place where to see. This is the thing, there's a lot of story in this game. You have to go through a lot of story. And there's not a great deal of action. That's where I criticise. And then the game is kind of over, like, after an hour or two. It's, um, yeah. But still, it's a nice, it's like a, just a, just a nice journey. A nice little story to have on your Amstrad. Nothing too taxing, really. Indeed, my friends, I'm sure that Mr. Justiano, the pharmacist, will be delighted to offer you staying at his place. He's very good friends with the priest, and since you're pilgrims, he'll be willing to help you out. And the drunk over there, I think we have a few drunks on the Amstream. <laughs> Look out! That house is haunted and doomed. He says, shut up, you drunk, don't scare these good people. The lady committed suicide and her soul wanders around the house. Don't worry, we don't believe in such things where we can find where can we find the pharmacist? To speak to Mr. Cesario, the priest will be in the church. The guy goes to the village is doomed, the solution is drinking. As much as you can to forget. Right. We can actually talk to him, I think, actually again. Right, anyway. Right, let's go to the church. Welcome, brothers. I was waiting for you. This is a small town. The news travels fast. Hello, brother. We are free. Gonzalo, blah, 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 blah. I'm looking for a place to spend the night. But there are no rooms left in the inn. You should have come see me before. We were told that the pharmacist could host us if you speak with him. Of course, I could even offer you some accommodation here in the uh, sacristy. I feel it may be too little compared to Mr. Giustiano's place. He's a rich man and his house has a lot of empty rooms. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, uh, okay. Just a little walk across the forest. Best to leave now before night falls. Okay. A lot of story there, a lot of talking. Follow me, brothers, the way is short, but it's easy to get uh, lost. If you get far accidentally, I'll wait for you. But anyways, let's hurry to ride for the night falls. Got some animation there on the water. That's a nice little touch. That's cool. He waits for you to follow. That's a nice touch. We can go this way, come back. And he's still there. Good game design, that. Good game design. Arriving at the house at night, there. Uh, this gives off Stardew Valley by Valley Valley vibes. I've never played that game, Brian. I know a lot of a lot of people here have played that one actually. I think my, one of my lads has got the game. Oh, Crazy Borg! Good night, Crazy Borg. Take care, my friend. Thanks, for, uh, thanks for chilling as always, dude. And a happy New Year, my friend. I hope, that ha I hope you have a better 2022. Is the COVID been okay to you, Susanna? I think I'm coming out of it now. I think I am, because I felt a little bit better today. Not so much no streaming and temperature going up and down. I am starting to feel really tired, so I don't know if I'll stream for much longer tonight, but we'll see how we go. Uh, Zyper, did you eventually finish Le Voyage de Nephi? I did. We finished it off on Twitch. It's because... I think we did it in one more... I think we did it in a stream. So we did about a third, of the, quarter, a third of the game on the Am stream that time, and then the, the Monday next after, we then went and did it on Twitch. There's a highlight video of it on my Twitch channel of the rest of the game. It was pretty easy to be honest because you just have to work around the maze. Um, if you lose a battle with a monster, it's not game over. You just charge your energy up and go again. There's no like game over or death, so it's just a, it's a matter of time whether you complete Lavoyos the Nippy. Um, rather than, you know, working out a strategy, dying, coming back and redoing it and stuff. So, yeah, again, another game that could have done with a bit of tweaking. It could have been a much better game. But it was still good. Yeah, unfortunately, Anna, Retro and Limp's got it. So keep away from Retro and Limp. <laughs> I remember Crazy Borg. I remember you saying, so, um... <clears throat> I thought, oh, was it fractured? Uh, I thought he just got bad, badly swollen. You were going to go to the doctors next week. Well, I hope it, I hope it heals up quick for you, crazy dog. I really do, mate. 
Yeah, I love the graphics on this. There's a bit of discussion there at the housekeeper about dinner time. We have a chat with Mr. Giano here. And it's talking about like the monks need somewhere to stay, blah, 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 blah. There's an awful lot of story going on here. I think uh, I think we ought to probably, you get the gist of it, and this goes on, there's a bit of explanation that uh, comes next, and finding items and using them in the right place. Um, oh, nasty crazy bog, x-ray showed all the damage, got a casting. I, uh, in a few weeks you should be alright then, hopefully, crazy bog. Sorry to hear that, dude. You slipped down the stairs, didn't you? I'm going to be saying... Not the greatest starts. I mean, I'm not. I'm not the greatest starts. The first thing that happened in the new year is I got COVID. So it was like, oh bloody hell! Yay, 2022's off to a good start for a few people here. <laughs> anyway, I think what we'll do is we'll move on from this one to another game. Um, it's a beautiful game that. Hang on, what's going on? Right, there we go. Um, shall we have a look at any more 2021 games? Um. We've seen a lot of Bugs Quest uh, on various streams, haven't we? Uh, there's Le, Le Voyage de Nephi, which um, Jana was talking about there. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit tired, guys. I'm like, not sure. I don't know if I could be asked of any of these games because we've had them quite recently on the AM streams. Maybe I should have thought, as a, a thought, of, a, thought of a different second section of the stream than the best game for 2021. I'm clearly not going to cover most of them tonight and um, I'm feeling a bit tired so I might call it on the stream in a little bit but I'll tell you what we'll show you the best game from the CPC Retro Dev the winner of course <clears throat> right where's my CPC Retro Dev folder because that, that, this, that, this game is literally on the thumbnail as well so <laughs> I ought to really cover it uh... Right, where are we? Um, oh crap! Because yeah, we had to. This loads from a tape. This one. Oh sugar. Bear with me, guys. Just a sec. Uh, where is it? Oh, damn it. We'll have to go from the first level. You're going to miss the intro sequence. But Shovel Adventure. The, avent the eventual winner of the CPC Retro Dev. We all remember this. I think we then completed it um, um, a few days later on Twitch. Big holes, berry mummies, etc. The eventual winner of the CPC Retro Dev, this one. I think we've all seen it a lot. But I've just like a few minutes playing this one. Welcome back, Lucas. Hang on, what's this saying? Sorry. You had an unexpected visitor. Uh, was Is that a good thing or a bad thing, Lucas? <laughs> uh, Retro Limbs having a lovely line tomorrow. Wish I could. But yeah, the missus has got the COVID as well. She'd be like, get up. I've got it as well. You've got kids to look after and jobs to do. <laughs> Dogso says, my ex, her man, and my daughter all have COVID. We're all friends of my fiance and I have been doing the shopping for them last week. Oh, that's kind of you, Jockstrad. That's very kind of you. I had to do click and collect for the first time. It wasn't too bad, actually. We got most of the stuff I ordered. <laughs> um... Stop teasing Lucas about his swapping his Amiga stuff for 3D. I already upset him the other night on stream about that. <laughs> oh my god. Um, hey, welcome back, man, Shovel. Hey, it's the Shovel Adventure. <laughs> You've been on our Shovel Adventure. We're actually playing the game now. Uh, back from the frozen tundra that is known as Central New York, the apparition of the man Shovel reappears in the snowy moonlight. Welcome back, man, Shovel. Uh, did you get your supplies? 
Oh, just a visit off a mate. Oh, no worries, Lucas. You have a, you have a nice beer with him. Topol! TP, a later, a later arrival from TP. How you doing, mate? Uh, I hope you had a great Christmas for you. I had to probably make a look from now on. Love to all. Hey, TP! I hope you had a good Christmas and New Year's, mate. Happy New Year, dude. Anna, how have you been as well, Anna? I forgot to ask, I think. We've got to pick up all the mounds of earth there to reveal the gems, or whatever the hell they are. Jewels. That's really nicely presented. The only problem is the controls can be a little bit oversensitive. Oh. Power up there, clock freezes time. Arab is about to run out. Two, one. Oh, that's evil! He wouldn't let me exit! Oh, because I need you need to pick up the ang. Oh that's that's harsh. Now we can get out. So you need to pick up the ang to exit, that's what I didn't do there. Oh what what was the last game we played we were playing? Uh, oh yeah, um, Los Amores de Brunilda. What score out of 10 would you give uh, Los Amores de Brunilda? The uh, Zelda RPG type game we just had on. I would give it a 9 out of 10, even if it is over a little bit too quickly and there's not much action in it. It's an absolutely lovely product, a nice chill game to play. Oh, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Only just, only just, it needed a bit more content and action to it. Oh, we've got a speed up boost. That's going to be handy. Power up runs out in two seconds, one second. I've been playing Shovel Adventure, however, I've been playing Shovel Knight Spectrum. Shovel Knight games are good. Uh, this is, that's a series I've not played, but I've seen plenty of people uh, playing and streaming them on Twitch, and it was cool. Power up boots somewhere. Snake around. Oh, that shovel allows us to do one one dig and, it, and pick them up. Mummy's <laughs> not falling for that. Okay. I can't test the other games, but special tournament is really fun. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. We need to convert the original Shantae Game Boy Color game to CPC or CC Plus. I don't know that one, Jonah. I don't think I've ever played that before. I'll take your word for it. All the games in the world should be converted to the Amstrad. That'll do. <laughs> oh, that was a close one. Oh, you sneaky mummy. Falling for it, is he? He is this time. There you go. Jewel Adventure, what a cool little game. Works perfectly well. Controls may be a tiny bit oversensitive, that's my only criticism. And then it starts feeling a bit repetitive after a while. Uh, uh, I guess that's a bit of a harsh criticism, it's just really nicely done. I love how the new Egyptian music really suits the game as well. Lovely use of colours, as it all moves and moves really smoothly and fast. Nice responsive controls. If a little bit oversensitive, it's hard to be harsh about this game. I find with any criticism. Again, another nine out of ten from me for this one. What would you guys give this a score out of ten if you did? Oh, the music reminds you of the Shantae series. Again, I've I've no idea. <laughs> I have to take your word for it. Bit of spikes there. Oh, I picked up a rainbow. That's 
need vulnerability. Oh. One second left on it. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the anchor. To the anchor. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. That was Shovel Adventure. Eight and a half, ten. Eight and a half, Brian. Yeah, I'd go... I'd give it a nine, but it'd be just a nine. It'd be like if the percentage is, it'd be like 90%. Something like that. So, yeah, I'd give it like a nine out of ten. Just. Just. Lovely presentation here. Oh, what's that, sorry, Anna? Um, what did I miss? Uh, oh, Anna says, oh, sorry, Anna, you tagged me there, I couldn't see it. It got, I think it got mixed up with the night bot um, tag. I don't know. Uh, they're mostly okay, but I have a really question of the next game of Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Anna. Just don't, don't forget that you know you can always reach out to me and several of our people in this community by a DM. Just go, hey, just feeling a bit poop. Can we just talk about some nonsense for a bit. Uh, so my DMs are always open, Anna. So if you ever need a bit of distraction, like if I'm not streaming or something, often I'm up really late at night. If it hits you late at night as well, like early hours of morning. My DMs are always open, Anna. I try to uh, try and see what take your mind off crap, you know. You know how it is depression. Often you just have to ride it out. It's a bit like that saying um, Stephen Fry said on his program about it. But um, like you know, the storm clouds, storm clouds are there and it's raining and chipping it down. But like um, the storm clouds will always clear and the sun will come out and shine. You know, it'll, it'll pass. So if you need, ever need a bit of distraction, just while you're waiting for that storm to pass before the sunshine comes out, you know, my DM's always open. Oh, the soundtrack turning me out. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Man Shovel. Sorry. Thank you for telling me. We turned it up for Los Amores de Brunilda because I had to use a different emulator and its volume is slightly lower than Win Apes. And I've got to turn it back down again. Thank you. Never mind. Um, 8 out of 10 from Robin, 8 out of 8 from Retro and Lim, and Mantle gives it a 9.5, mostly because it's got Shovel in its name. <laughs> right, is there any other games for 2021 we need to have a look at? Probably not, I think we're probably good. I'll tell you what we'll do, the other good game for 2021 I really, really enjoyed. We'll do one more tonight, one more. Uh, I have, again, featured it fairly recently again on the channel because I did a video on it. Um, where is it? Um, uh, uh, I mean, where's my folder of games gone? God damn it. God damn it. Hang on. Where's my next game? Shoot. Hey. Oh, I think I know where it is. One second. One second. There we go. We'll load up some Puzzle Bobble just to finish tonight, I think. Uh, FC Den Hall gives it an 8.5 out of 10. And Lucas gives it an 89%. Do you know what? You're probably right, Lucas. I think I would give it an 89% show on Adventure. Maybe 90. Oh, it's a tough one. It'd be my score. Be flick. I'll be 50 50 between 89% or 90%, like you. Um, like when it comes uh, com when, when it comes to games starring you, if you're a platform brawler or a racer or RPG game of yourself, it's already happening. FC Den Hard Zyphos Nightmares coming from Yellow Belly. I didn't have a choice in the matter though, what kind of game, but like, oh, I don't know. I would like a run and gun game, like where the first level is like a run and gun, like Sing Chronicles or Grizor or something like that. And then the second level would be like a driving racing game, that'd be cool. And then like the third level would be like a scrolling beat em up, like have the best of all three in one, that'd be cool. 
So we'll have like target renegade style action for the third and final level. Vespertino style racing on the second level. And run and gun action a la Galactic 2 and Symphonicals Rise on the first level. Not asking for much, am I? <laughs> Great question, love the question. Uh, main haze, no I'm not. No, that game was kind of not very good in the first place. <laughs> um, there's no CPC version of Wonderful Disney, I think that's enough memory available. Or the push is 28k, especially if you actually limit the CPC more, needs more memory for video. I think it'd be doable. I think it'd be doable, Main Haze. Um, although, I, I personally, I wouldn't be too bothered about it because I've already completed up the Specky and, and I know the game and where all the bits and things you have to do. And I don't know. I think it's still worthy to. It'd be great to have it on the answer, regardless. This may well be one of my favourite games of the year, this one, actually. Uh, Brian, yes, yes, I know that arcade cab very well, but, but lucky and wild. You might have missed it. We did a Twitch stream where I just played it for like most of the stream. I worked out a control system with main, um, with mouse, and the read all the keys. I got it to some kind of playable state almost in an emulator. And see if uh, the game is absolutely big. Oh, yes. There's a difficulty, it's an absolute coin muncher. Even on the easiest settings and the easiest dip, dip, dip switch settings, looking wild, it's just it's impossible. Yes, don't be lighting any arse candles. <laughs> Joystick not being recognised by Win8. Hang on, have I got it enabled? Oh, I haven't, that's why. There we go. Sampled speech there. Just good lord. Love it, love it. The only thing is, I wish it'd like move left and right a little bit quicker. That's my only wish. Otherwise, this is a brilliant conversion. Oh, Buzzer Bobble, or Buster Move as it's sometimes known. It has its own little quirks of the physics. Sometimes balls don't stick to other balls like they do in the arcade. They sort of fly past them. Uh, you'll see in a bit. Get her out of the way. Also, the aiming dots that come out the front to go up the plane area, they stay with you, I think, throughout the game. As far as I know. Whereas in the arcade version, they disappear after the first level or two. Yay, there you go. Hey, no problem, Anna. No problem. Look at the. Can you see there's like a little, like, flamey ball there in the middle? Hit that. It destroys all the balls around it. This is kind of a new addition to the game, I think. And look at it, I love the themed levels on this. This is the Chase HQ themed level. Actually, I'll complete this in a second really quickly now. Apart from that bum note to the music, I love love it, the Chase HQ music. Oh, it fired it automatically. Right, it fires automatically for a while. Okay, never mind. Now we get Rainbow Islands. Oh, hang on. What does this ball do? The lightning ball. Oh, destroys a whole line. So if we can quickly clear off. There you go. There you go. Okay, this is brill. This says Robin. Love the different music in each level. And the theme, the graphics theme on the outside. New Zealand story! We bounce this into there. Huh? Yeah, that wouldn't happen on the arcade version. Right, I can't sneak it through this time. Uh, green, you go there. Blue. 
It's a little bit more chilled and laid back than the arcade version. The arcade version pushes you a little bit more, I feel. Ah! Yeah, that should have gone past the blue ball there. That should have stuck at the front of the blue ball, not behind it. But I am, I have heard that they, they were considering doing a updated version of this game with some minor changes. So, who knows, that physics might get tweaked a bit. Oh, green. We might be able to see this green ball behind there. Try it. Ah! Oh. Never mind. Got to spell it so. I like the screen shake. That's nicely done. It's not too annoying on the eyes. Green. Can we sneak this green in behind it? No. Ah! No, not quite. <sighs> okay. Oh no. Finally off that level, there we go. Uh Parasol Stars music and outline there, that was there before, yeah. Actually, let me just pause up there, catch up the chat there. Uh Wonderful Disney is alright, it says main maze is enjoyable, it doesn't mix the level of fantasy world, magic land, prince and book anyway. If it is, isn't the missing too much. I think it does, Main Haze, personally. I think it's a great um, game that's really well presented. There's only one or two of the puzzles that were a little bit taxing, I suppose. I don't I don't know. Presentation-wise, it's above and beyond them. But, like, puzzle-wise, I don't know. Are our candles like alarm clock candles? Actually, you've seen those in a shot. You stick them there to certain length depending on how long you want to sleep lay on your front light and sleep no way those real things paul bloody hell <laughs> old school alarm um that was yeah that was an impossible trick so it's one of the reasons i ended up hating this version you hate it just think of it as a different version mame haze I, I they've gone a different route with it mm. and you might not hate it so much then i don't know uh, I see says this is pure Tato tribute. So many songs it stands on its own beside the arcade version. I like this more because of all the tributes. Yeah, me too, FC. Yeah, that's maybe look at it like that, Mame Hayes. Look at what FC Den Hogs wrote there. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I love like holding up the different Tato games. We've got Arkanoid theme on this level, uh, which you'll hear in, in a short sort of bit. I catch up here. And the UK says, I obviously love Spellbound Dizzy at the time, but I'm, I might not have the patience to work out the puzzles for new game nowadays. I just couldn't get into Spellbound at all, and I know a lot of people didn't either, but those who stuck with it really love it, like yourself, Andy. Good for you. Good for you. But I know I never really um I never really progressed much in Spellbound. This is an audio great. The gameplay here is nonsense. It's borderline unplayable if you know how the game is meant to work. It works. It's puzzle bubble, I feel. It's just like a sneaky ball can get through every now and again. I don't know. I don't know. Fair enough, you don't like it. It's fine. Hey, Johnny Boy. Take care, dude. Have a great weekend, mate. Happy New Year. I've said it to you several times because you've been on several streams since. But, like, take care, Johnny Boy. And thanks for your support, dude. And help as always, dude. And the top tips. Uh. Fair enough, I'm main maze there with the wonderful Disney things. Uh, you think it's much more modern. I think it's like a cross between a Seymour game and Monty Mole. The platforming is stripped away. The world is quite flat. Hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. You've seen it in the shop, have you, Paul? <laughs> right. <laughs> so maybe those are the arse candles Anna was talking about. Anna, response? Yeah, you will be able to do that in the arcade version. I grant you that. <laughs> May maze. Good night, Johnny Boy. The legend that is Johnny Boy there. Uh, what just happened there? Uh, May maze, you might have a point. <laughs> Can't. 
Uh, green. He's cut the green balls coming. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, so I shouldn't have to do my final pieces, it's just like trying to play it. The ball's going is logical, it's great effort, but badly needed fixes. I know man, I know, I know. I think you got like disappointed like I did with Seam Chronicles. Um, and you got annoyed. And it's like simple little things. Maybe it's not so simple to fix. I mean, it's like physics, really, and physics engines are very tough to uh, get right on 8-bit games and old computers and stuff like that. Look at the look at how the different versions of um, uh, Frost fare up. Some of them have very different physics to each other. As a rough example, uh, green ball. Okay. Uh, bubble bubble music. Any Bubble Bobble fans in the house? Yeah, I think you're going to have to go there. I'm going to be a bit slow. This game gives you a lot more time to ponder than um, the arcade version. I'll, give, I'll have to say that as well. You can keep you on there. Blue, you come over here. Let's just move left and right too slowly though. You need to be able to move a lot quicker. There. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Oops. I didn't want to do that either. Oh, the alarm's going off. Um, that's a nice touch of the alarm. Uh, can we squeeze that in there? We can indeed. Oh, we can squeeze there too. Red. Uh, blue, yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of these. Green. Come on. I'm gonna play as much as I can. Oh no! Okay. Now we're just on one, one of them left there. We're getting rid of that blue. We just need some blues. Come on. Uh, yellows. Sugar. Gee, I'll put the yellow behind it. God, it takes too long to like move this left and right. That is definitely one criticism I have. <sighs> we should be good. Just enjoy the bubble ball for music while I uh, finish this level. Job done. Does it have two player mode battle? It might do. It might do. We'll have to find out. How do I. Oh, I'm round 10. Let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. Game over screen there. Oh, wicked! Look at that! So you just on the internet flash me, you could get a QR code. Play it on your phone, then send it to crazyperi.eu forward slash code. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I forgot to mention that in my um, puzzle video I did on my channel recently. That's, an, uh, that's really cool. Ah, uh, right, no, it's, it's only a one player game, fortunately. Be nice if they did a two-player version later in the year or something like that. That would be cool. What score out of ten for that one, guys? I would give that a solid nine out of ten. To change your work alarm to that. That. Yeah, that sounds a good idea. Um. So far, I love this on the PS1. Plays all the time. My first game I was with at that time. Does that bring back some good memories. I, oh man, I used to love playing Puzzle Bobble. This is one of the games I used to open. I, I'd open up main and be presented with choices of thousands of games to play. And I'm like, what am I going to play? And sometimes the, too much choice is difficult. <laughs> I end up plump, plumping for Puzzle Bobble and Puzzle Move all the time. But 
it's cool, it's cool. Um, and I cannot speak the secrets of the arse candles, it is forbidden, <laughs> fair enough. Oh, did you did, did the stream jitter for anyone or pause or something like that? Uh, oh, Lucas had a problem with the chat window. Look at the stream shaking, like, when it gets really low. Ten. Actually, some lower scores than I expected. Retro Moon did it a seven. Um, Anna a seven. Pippi Stopper an eight. Hey, Pippi Stopper. Um, Happy New Year, dude. Lucas gives it seventy five percent. More than eight. FC Denhard ten out of ten. Wow, I thought the scores would be higher. I thought it would be around about the eight, eight and a half, nine mark for this one. I'm giving this a solid nine. Quite a little. There's a few little issues here, here and there. The game is still fun despite the issues. Whereas, like, issues in certain other games we talked about earlier ruins the fun. I don't think it ruins the fun in this one. Just to, like, carry on and play and level up. Um, Andy gives it a 10, Robin a 9. Man Shovel! Good night, Man Shovel. Take care, dude. Take care. You know what, guys? Um. Hey, what was that? Sorry, I was about to ask, how would all these new FDAs be rated now if they were reviewed in old Al Star Amsterdam magazines? Now remember, that's exactly what the new antics does. <laughs> I don't know what it's got, um, the new antics. I've not received my biscuit copy of the magazine yet. I'm going to chase that up. I have the PDF version, so I can have a look at what the score for this one. I think I did the critique on this one, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember now. Malama gives it 7.5 out of 10. Wow, okay. Maymay says, I give it a 5 out of 10, I want to like it, but I can't. It's potentially an 8 out of 10, but I'd rather play Tetris. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Retro says, I give the game a 7 and Zypho 1. If you just turn into GP, as soon as GP's gone to bed, Retro and Lim. Bloody hell. Right. Um, yeah, I think, ladies and gents, boys and girls, I think I'm probably going to call it there. I was going to call it... I was thinking of finishing at 1 tonight, but we've gone on to 1.40. Now, we've still got 40 people watching, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> but guys, I'm going to call it there tonight. Um, I, I am, like, super wiped out and tired from the COVID. I'm still, like, in a good mood. I'm happy and I'm moving. I've had a good time tonight. My brain has not been so foggy as it was the other day. Um, but anyway... Thank you everyone for tuning in. So, oh god, the numbers have just gone up on the stream. We've got some more people joining in. <laughs> well, that's the way that's the way of things. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to give us a like and a thumbs up before you go um, tonight, guys. I really appreciate that. We're on 74 likes at the moment. I think 75 now. Awesome. But if you haven't already given me a like and a thumbs up, I really, really appreciate that if you could. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight for the first Amsterdam 2022. Um, I think it really started off with a really good bang tonight. Uh, it was great having um, the new Moritz game as an exclusive launch party and having all the team Moritz uh, with us in the chat. That was really, really cool. Um, and I do, I do feel like now my energy has just dripped a, uh, dropped, a, uh, dropped a bit and we've been sort of chilling on the last uh, few games. So I'm going to call it there before uh, I stop nodding off. <laughs> but it was so good to be back tonight, guys. Um, uh, I think I needed to have a kind of community segment rather than just doing 2021 games. I think that would have been cool. Maybe an AMS quiz to finish. That would have been a perfect end to the stream, probably, or something like that. Uh, oh, lovely messages there. Um, great to have you back. It's like a great stream. Good night, everyone. I I've missed you guys not doing an AMS stream. I've really missed it, guys. It's been like three weeks about an AMS stream. It's nuts, almost. Um, whoa! Chiefy! Thank you for the 464! Wow, that's loud. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't launch um, Dancing Sugars and Bananas on this outro scene because I don't have it set up on it. But thank you very, very, very much, Chiefy! Exclamation mark bananas in the chat there. Um, my name is in the in this is broken in half is it uh i see i will sort i know what you mean in the text there 
I'll try and sort that out because I've got to uh, 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 edit that again, actually. I need to edit that for next week. So thank you, actually, Den Hog. I'll sort that. Thank you, Lucas. Cheers, uh, Fenrir, uh, Retron, Lynn. Chiefy, thank you very, very much, Chiefy. Um, thank you, uh, Maud. I'm doing all right now. Cheers, jo Jonah. Thank you, Jonah. You're an absolute legend, mate. I owe you some beers. Thank you so much, Jonah. I really, really appreciate your help on the Zyphos Nightmare tune and stuff. Thank you, my friends, and all you've done. The, the games and community as well. Um, cheers, Simmy. Uh, so, patrons, members of the Am Squad, will get a video hopefully this Sunday, and you're going to be able to hear the whole Zyphos Nightmare tune that I've composed with the help of Jonah making it sound much better um this sunday probably that's gonna be the and you will hear the original rock song which was which i recorded on demo on my pc many years ago which the basis for that so that's an exclusive for the am squad and patrons this weekend and i think i will, re I will release the final trailer for zypho's nightmare on monday for everyone to watch but which you saw earlier on the stream tonight and i'll continue working on a new long play review and the best budget, best top ten plus the best budget games on the Amstrad, which is coming soon as well. Uh, anyway, good night, everyone. Thank you for tuning in tonight. Thank you, everyone, for the kind donos. Thank you so much. It's lovely to be back, and um, well, can't wait to see you on the next Amstrad next week, and of course, I'll be on Twitch in in the evenings in the week as well. See you all soon. Take care, and a good night, everyone. Good night. Have a great weekend. Bye.